one the phone is ringing in my house we are here in the first time in forever 44b life after high school podcast episode 44b we haven't forgotten we haven't forgotten about this i haven't forgotten uh i've been busy i've been busy and we'll get into that we'll get into what we've done Pos- podcast rating is still the same as always restricted following horrible jokes could be expected we try not to say names your viewer discussion is advised keep your little ones safe away from this podcast instagram at life after hs podcast all lowercase follow us there our guests you've seen them you've seen them third time's a charm i don't know my users uh 002 not 007 002 brought to you by absolutely nobody the double champ does what he fuck he wants your wife is in me DMs. I have no idea. Uh, we have nobody to sponsor right now. Uh, I don't know what happened with a certain Instagram. It's gone. Uh, I gotta find a way to get my hair cut soon. So you're getting a dark screen. You're getting a dark screen. Chicago, where you at? Oh. Oh, CM Punk, CM Punk. I what? love his theme song. Really. I love his theme song, too. I would use to put it on repeat for, like, like hours, not hours at a time, but, like... Living Color, Cult of Personality. Cult of Personality. You know, uh, CM Punk, actually, he didn't start using that song until 2011, but we- weirdly enough, he used that song all his life when his dad used to coach his uh, Little League team, and his dad or his coach or whoever, they would blast that song when they would run onto the field. So that's where he got the love of cult of personality. Wait, so the song was a thing before CM Punk? Yeah. This... That does sound dumb. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Living Color, Cult of Personality. Because a lot of the superstars get their own song. They yeah, have yeah. Well, that's an AEW now. Mm-hmm. But then again, that's kind of happened for years where certain songs will be a, a wrestler's uh, entrance. Like, I remember back then in WCW even, they had Jimi Hendrix's uh, uh, Voodoo Child. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, they, ha- they had it playing for Hulk Hogan. Like, when he was doing the NWO, WC, oh, WC yeah, days, yeah, yeah. he would come out to, like, I'm standing next to a mountain. Dun, 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 dun. But, goddamn, WCW had to probably pay a shit ton back then to have that song, right? And now, I know CM Punk has a uh, cult's personality. Uh, Orange Cassidy, who's in AEW, he has uh, Where Is My Mind by the Pixies. He has That Is His Theme Song. And other people, you know, other people, they... Uh, they're mostly originals or John Cena. John Cena, John has, Cena is, a, is literally his vocal. It's, oh, it's his song. Yeah. <laughs> He's had multiple, multiple different songs. But Triple yeah, H. Triple H. Motorhead. He, yeah, he he had him. He had them make it for him. Yeah, and he's always been a Motorhead fan oh, ever yeah. since whenever. So the fact that he got Motorhead to do his song and not only did you hear song, the backstory behind that? What's the backstory? Well, our, it's vague. I have I haven't heard of a, of it in years, but like right. The they he uh, they asked him hey we need a theme song for you and right they're like okay do we have a certain budget and it's like no you could do whatever you want bro <laughs> so it's like hey I want Motorhead it's like I want Motorhead. is that po- is that possible it's like hell yeah it is hell yeah and they made they they didn't only make one song they made like two songs they made the game you know da 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 they got that one and then they got another one the King of Kings where he yeah, used yeah, it yeah. for his authority. Uh, figure like or authority character back in like 2014 like mm-hmm. 2017 and that's when that song used to be rare i remember when like that song would play instead of the game and i was like oh shit that's cool but then he turned that in that one into a song so hearing the game kind of felt more better especially at wrestlemania when he because he didn't play the song it felt more special yeah it felt more special because it's time to play yeah. the game he's about to get in that's badass man so we haven't been on here for a long time long time you've gone to mexico twice already twice twice <laughs> like in, the, in, the, in, the, in the span how and how was him how was it first you went to guadalajara did you see canelo there or what what <laughs> oh you? yeah i went to guadalajara that's where canelo's from yeah 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 and i went by plane and then you see the mansions mm-hmm. that you're flying over guadalajara and you see the mansions like bro that's so badass and you see like a lot a lot of the rich houses like bro it feels like the united states here Right, but, like the streets are good quality, obviously, and I don't know what the horror is. I didn't I, sadly I didn't meet Canelo, but uh, <laughs> I I was only gonna land on the airport I, and just go through the town. Right, I'm gonna visit. And what did you do over there? Just visit family? Yeah, vi- well, it's it's not complicated. It's like okay, so I stayed there for three weeks. Right, I. 
I arrive I arrive late June, and I I usually come to visit my abuelos. Right. But I also had fun over there, and <laughs> then <laughs> we talked about it for the podcast. Yeah, 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 but we can't yeah. talk about it here. Yeah, hella fun, hella fun, man, yeah. man. Uh, I, you always hear stories about Mexico being fun. It's the place where people go. Just bro, to... you feel free, bro. Yeah, like, I I have like a big family, so like if there's nothing to do with one side of the family, you just go to the other. Yeah. Do you know Paul Rodriguez, the comedian? No. So, Paul Rodriguez was, like, one of the main Latin comedians back then, back before Fluffy, even. You know, this mm-hmm. was, you know, he was big before, you know, Fluffy came on the come up, right? But there's a joke that Gabriel Iglesias had that he went to go get tacos with uh, Paul Rodriguez. Mm-hmm. And he's like, no, man, we're not going to eat over here. We're going to Tijuana. Oh, because they're from San Diego, right? Or They were somewhere in California, I think. Yeah, yeah. San Diego border is Tijuana. Yeah. So, he's like, no, nah, man, we're going, to, we're going to Tijuana, man. I can't pay for you here. I got to pay for you over there. I saw that on t- I saw someone on TikTok that were like they're from San Diego and then they just go across the border just to get some tacos in Tijuana. That's crazy, and I never been to TJ because that's what people call it. Uh, I never been there, but I want I'd want to go. Why the hell not? You know what I mean? Have you been to Mexico? No, never. I never been to Mexico right. once. I didn't go to Mexico till last year for the first time. Right, and you said how you loved it. You had, I loved, you loved it, it from the first time, and then I just visit every few months. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This was my. I've been there. Five times in a span of one and a half years. Damn, I've never been there. The closest I've been there was uh, I I have family in uh, Del Rio. And oh, that's, Del Rio! I cross I crossed through yeah, Del Rio. Yeah, it's kind of small, right? Yeah, yeah. And what do you call it? It's a six-hour drive from here, and it could be tedious. It, it's the border town. Yes, very tedious. Which way did you, Which way did y'all go? Did y'all go through all major highways or no? So we went to Mexico through airplane, oh. and then we came back through van. Oh, did y'all go back road or no? What do you mean? Back because road. Uh, the way we go, because I've only gone through major highways once and it was fucking forever. Oh, no, no. We go through highways. It was fucking forever. Fucking forever. But there's a way before the major highways were built because they've been going, you know, my family's lived here for a long, long time. And they always had a way of getting back and forth. Oh, okay. So they knew a back road. It would be considered a back road. But, uh. It it's more efficient. There's less traffic, but okay. you don't see shit for miles. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, like that's the if I were to ever drive there because I'm the age and I'm pretty sure if my family wanted to go, they'd be like, hey, take over this side of the trip. It's just straight. They like, like uh, the United States side or the Mexican side. I think it's a little bit of both because it was all like countryside. Oh okay, yeah, and, and then they don't care. Like, yeah, yeah, and then the thing about that one is. For going straight after a long time, you have to turn left. At one point in time, you turn left. That's okay. it. <laughs> right? And I, I, I'd be scared to drive that only because I think I would get road hypnosis. Seeing the same, the same oh, road right. over and over and, be, and not be aware of, hey, this is the actual road. <laughs> you, have you ever heard of that, road hypnosis? I've driven for three hours. I didn't get it. Sir Pope, good. Yeah. Like, good I didn't get it, but like, I don't know. You don't I've never gotten it. Never gotten it. And you've gotten it while you're tired. Or, no, 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 you said you were tired, but you didn't get it. I was tired, but I didn't get it. Oh, yeah, I went to the beach in Mexico, yeah. The beach, man, and how was that? Because I've only been to one beach. That was the first time I ever went to the beach. (laughs) It was such a cool experience. Um, We went to this small beach in Nayarit, Mexico. Nayarit, all right. And then uh, we, well, when I go to Mexico, I I go to Jalisco. Oh, Jalisco is one of the, is in Guadalajara. Guadalajara. Well, right. Guadalajara is in Jalisco, which is. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we visited the bigger beach, the very well-known beach, where it's very touristy in Puerto Vallarta. Mm. Puerto Vallarta, there was so many Americans, so many foreigners. It's like more of a tourist, tourist touristy attraction. thing. Yeah. And I remember, it's like, oh, so cool. We see some Americans here. We see some Mexicans. And like, everybody's just having a good time, yeah. right? And then we went with my Mexican family. It's because when I go to Mexico, I don't go. With my whole family, I I just go with one of my brothers and me. It's literally just both of us. Dang! So y'all got like free reign to do whatever. Yeah. And did y'all go during the daytime? Obviously, right? Obvious. Well, no, we went through night. We went. Really? Oh, well, we went to the small beach at night. Like it was like a eight hour drive. Right. And then we went to Puerto Vallarta as like a few hour trip. Right. And it was it was cool. So we see some Americans, we see some Mexicans. Well, obviously we're gonna see Mexicans. Ah! Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna see you're gonna see more than just Mexicans. You're gonna see because um, uh, I had a a friend of mine who was uh, actually their family was from Honduras. Honduras. And yeah. for oh my god, for years 
years, one of my family members would be like, they're Honduran. They're not Mexican. They're Honduran. Don't get them mixed up. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Oh, yeah, Mexicans? Yeah, well, I'm not talking about everyone, but, but like, Mexicans have like a, a thing for Central Americans. Where yeah, it's like, for Central Americans where... I don't know. It's if they don't they don't like each other yeah. that much. And man, see, this is kind of it is kind of controversial, but it is kind of true because it happens. That happens on one side of the world where it's in Central America, where people yeah. are going to be like, "We don't like, you even though we're literally around each other, right?" Yeah. You know where else that happens on the other side of the world? With, China. With certain, like it's kind of said that uh, certain Asian ethnic groups. They don't align themselves with cer- or certain other ethnic groups. The Japanese, the Chinese. Yeah, or um, actually, like s- you, I've heard on a podcast recently on Joe Rogan's podcast with the uh, one uh, with a woman. Uh, you know me. I don't. I don't want to butcher her name. Miss Park. She was actually escaped from North Korea. She was someone. From oh, North- I think I've seen that podcast. Yeah, and it's so weird how. There was one thing that tripped me out, and the one thing that tripped me out was, well, one, I've seen, a, I've heard a joke before that certain Asians don't like other Asians because of, uh huh. They would just point at their skin, be like, sir, there's like a certain percentage where they're lighter. Dark. I, it's fucked up. It's oh fucked yeah, there's up. A, there's like a, like how it used to be in well. Yeah. Or like there's this hierarchy of like yeah. skin color in Asian cultures. Yeah. And then here's the one thing that tripped me out, which she said during that podcast. It tripped me out that they can tell they're North Koreans and they're actually a little prejudiced against them. And the way they can tell is by their height. And their Oh, yeah, height, because they're not malnourished. Because they're malnourished. And they can't help that because they're a... Their regime. Their regime, simply, right? And so it's, it's crazy that there's enough prejudice on other people's skin like you look different i look different everybody looks different but on their height it's different it's 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 different like i i, I <laughs> well like is it that the south koreans don't like the north Korea? well I, I doubt it i feel like they feel bad for them yes and it no. just i feel like they just know oh he's north korean yeah. yeah yeah i think there's still some prejudice somewhere there but they're also where they where a lot of them go. I mean, and now it's un- inescapable. From what I've heard, it's inescapable North Korea. Oh, yeah. But... They shoot you down if they find yeah. you. And, well, they don't... If you try to escape and you're, you're almost escaping. Yeah. They shoot you down and if they, yeah. ca- if they manage to catch you, they punish you and your three generations of yeah. your family. It's family like... Family and all that. And then they got landmines. They got all these different things. <laughs> then you have to go through harsh weather conditions. Oh, yeah. Like, the harshest one I heard was on that same podcast was they went through a desert that was like minus 10 degrees there's deserts what do you mean deserts? or like this is area. it like snow deserts i th- mm, i don't really remember but i know they went through they said it was like this desert this area and it was like minus 10 degrees and they had like a group with them like little like at least three men the rest are women or children and they got a baby with them and they're going in minus 10 10 degree weather crazy and like oh i'm not crazy enough they can't stop they have to constantly move because if you stop, they're gonna catch you bro they're no 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 if oh they, what do you mean the oh, cold because will, the cold will catch you because like if you keep running your body keeps warm yeah you'll freeze to death if you yeah. stop moving so they had to, <gasps> that's so wild that is wild so they're trying to keep moving they're like which way are we going there is no death i mean you get you'll get lost in the desert you'll be yeah. like you're because you're just seeing the same thing. Yeah, exactly. So it's easy to go in like a circle. But then when they had the baby, they're like waking it up constantly. But what, was he like passing out or what do you mean? Like falling asleep, passing uh, out because I, I, I doubt a baby's going to handle that kind of condition. Yeah. But they're rubbing him away, keeping him awake, making sure. Like, it's crazy. That's horrible. Well, it's horrible that they even have to do that just to. Yeah, just to escape. <laughs> and And the fact that there's probably a little bit of prejudice like with some South Koreans against North Koreans or North Koreans against South Koreans, it's crazy because that's where they go for salvation, mm-hmm. essentially. They want to go somewhere else where, and it's not even the best salvation either because I'm only, I only know the perspective from one person who told their story, but the, the, the lady, she explained how as soon as she got there, she was sold into like sex trafficking, her and her mother. And South Korea... This was South Korea. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got there, and then I think somewhere down the line, uh, she ended up making it to China only because I think it was along the lines of she was a virgin. She was a virgin still, so that was pretty rare with a bunch of women. 
so being a virgin was actually you're you're a higher thing to buy you're a more price to buy and it's really fucked up and uh she got let off because the guy was nice he wanted her he paid for it. he ended up getting with her fucked up enough but he said you're a virgin that's worth enough i also have been with your mother but i want to help you find your mother <laughs> you okay. are tripping you are I, I tripping know, it's like, i don't know it's like it's so messed up but at the same time he helped him out it's yeah like, but like I don't want to say anything, but it's like, it would be controversial, but like, I don't know, like, you lose some, but like, you escape North Korea. Yeah, you, it's the sad, but it's trauma, it's very traumatizing. Yeah, it is, and, and the thing was, I, I didn't watch it, I would like, listen to it in my car and whatnot, and the entire time she sounded like she's about to cry, but she didn't cry until the very end. It's because she, in North Korea as well, they're, they're very not trained but they see trauma every day from bodies in the streets they're desensitized to, they're desensitized to the fullest extent yeah. so this happening she was probably just stone-faced mm-hmm. for a lot of the time but and after getting help they ended up making it to china and then she learned about she didn't even know about oppression she that was one thing that oh me out. so you went from north korea to china well north korea to south korea to then to China, I believe. That's weird. It is weird, but that's where she needed to go because certain governments weren't, you know, the best place to stay, mm-hmm. right? And then she had, ended up having to learn because one thing she said was, "You're not a opp- people aren't oppressed if they don't know they're being oppressed. If you know you're oppressed, then you're not oppressed anymore." Yeah, it's because the people in North Korea think that their leader is literally a god. Yeah, and sh- imagine knowing that. So she was, and that's another thing: the age. Their ages are so weird. The way they were aged is like as soon as you are born, you're already one years old. Is that how they... Yeah. And they go marked by their calendar years. And I think that's why they have like... They're confused on Kim Jong-un's age. Yeah. It's like they say they're, it's easy either 33 or 34. Or yeah. Whatever. Somewhere around that. It's because... And it depends on the person. Like a uh, good example, you know, me part gave was uh, uh, someone was born, say on December 31st. Right, and then the calendar. So he's reset. two years old the second day of his life. Yeah, you're two years old the second day of your life when really that baby is just a day old. Crazy. So that I feel like that's how kids think. Yeah. Uh, like oh, oh, there's a new year. I'm a year older. I th- oh. that, that, that's how I thought as a kid. I, as a kid, you thought that. Yeah. I kind of thought that as well, but I was like, well, well, like the math, like when you're yeah. like four or five, you're not good you're with like, that. Oh, it's another year, so I must be another year, yeah. right? And then fucking, she was saying, oh, I went through this when I was thirteen. When really she was actually seven years old when she saw a lot of this crap happen to her, which was pretty messed up. But by the eight, by that age, you know, being desensitized and all that, it's crazy. And then at after living her life for this X amount of years, she has to relearn what is freedom, what is free, what is democracy, what is this, what is that. Social standards. What's social standards, what's school, what's this, what's that. Like, f- freedom to her was putting on jeans. That's so sad. It's so crazy. And there's not a lot people can do about it except probably just spread awareness about it. Because they're uh, alle- allegedly, and like I said... I, I heard it from one podcast, but, like, you, you hear stories all the time about malnourishment, concentration camps, this, this, and this. Spreading awareness about it and the fact that they're kind of up, not uphold, or I, I don't know how you would word it, but, like, the Chinese government, some of the Chinese government supports them. That's why they're, like, kind of untouchable. So, like, what is there to do when you have two whole governments and everything in between there? There's not much you can do mm-hmm. with one country. You'd have to get, like, the world involved. Yeah. Right? And it, it's wild. It's wild, to say the least. We started going off about North Korea over Whoa. here. Where did we... How did we even start that conversation? I have no clue. I we think were it, talking about Mexico, but we something about, about Mexico, but, like, I forgot. How, I don't know how we got to North Korea, but... God, man. <laughs> they're oh. tra- they're, they test a lot of bombs, man. And... The, I think one bomb I got to release on to here right right now is there is a reason <laughs> this episode is 44B. called 44B. And uh the idea I got from this was uh uh you ever heard of a show called The Sopranos? I've heard of it. Yeah. 
it's a pretty good show. You, do you have HBO Max or anything like that? I used to have HBO. Oh, uh, but now you don't no more. No. Ah, damn. Well, there it's six seasons. Uh, there's like 13 episodes a season, and they're all an hour. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but uh Sopranos is like one of the best shows out there and you know in the height like I knew how big Sopranos was when I was a kid because it was out in like 99 98 and didn't stop till 2007 so I I saw it being okay. watched constantly and uh I didn't know this but like the first season or no 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 the sixth season the last season it was cut up into two seasons so that means there is a 6A or like season 6A. Oh, and then this is why you're calling it. Yeah, before. yeah, because they had 13 episodes when really the last season was 26 episodes. So okay. they doubled it just for the whole thing, part one, part two style. So 6A, 6B, so this one is 44B. Now what happened to 44A is another story. Uh, I had one about um, about a week or two before I had to do this acting thing I did in July. Which, oh, I saw that. Which you went, posted it. Yeah, which went pretty great. We did, um, uh, what was it called? I already forget. Oh, no, Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. It was amazing. I loved it. And uh, I figured, okay, if I have a podcast now, I, will, I won't run out of content. Well, I didn't run out of content until a couple weeks ago. I didn't run out of clips to make. So I figured, okay, this will just cushion me even more. I'll have more stuff to work with and give it more variety. But then, you know, I did it. And then I didn't like how it came out. I was frustrated at the end. I was like, like, because the person who was doing it with me, I, was, I didn't know. I, was, I wasn't in, in on the joke. So I didn't. I couldn't. Bl- <laughs> I couldn't blur the line between <laughs> reality and joke. Yeah, and then I feel like a dummy over here asking you like serious questions. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, and then or like. Let me just start doing that right now to confuse you, and you have to do another podcast. Yeah, right. Mm. And then the thing, like the thing, I will vent is I didn't really like. This person saying, next question, this, next question, that. Don't fucking do that. Because, one, it's my show. Two, this person asked me to be on my show. Oh, he asked you? Yeah, he asked me. I didn't I didn't ask him. Like, uh, I, a lot of people have asked me. and I have. What, what if you just did that to, like, fuck around? He probably did, and then that's why I didn't post it either. I didn't oh, post, okay. Yeah, I never posted it. And I, I, we had a conversation afterwards, and I said, you know, you know, it wasn't, that's, that's just not cool. Yada, yada, yada. He apologized. I apologize back to him. Whatever. Uh, but, yeah. And then a buddy of mine's like, did he really do that? Nah, that's fucked up. And I was like, it is fucked up. He came and jacked me around. He jer- he jerked me around. <laughs> Dave took me out. I'm starting to think of a Dave Chappelle joke when he, when Dave Chappelle was like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I, I was working off. And then he started... Oh. <laughs> he. he He's like, I, I feel so old and gray down there. You, you can have Morgan Freeman narrate me. It, it looks like Morgan <laughs> Freeman down here. And Nor- Morgan Freeman's just narrating. Dave took me out and started jerking me around. He went and went, but got tired and could not get me out. So <laughs> I went back in. <laughs> or something like that. Oh, God. That's <laughs> bro, That's how I Bro, th- what kind of things do you watch, bro? A uh, lot of things. A lot <laughs> okay. of mixed things. Uh, but yeah, I felt like I got jerked around there, so meh, just meh. Mm. And then I was like, you know what? Next one will be forty-four B, and I'll just tell. What let, let me just mess this one up right now. Forty-four C, forty-four D, E, E, all the. Uh, let's go all the way to Z. Let's Why go. not forty-four Z? People are like, Why didn't this just stop at M or N? <laughs> Elemental P or A <laughs> or A, right? <laughs> but goddamn, goddamn. So you already said how mexico was both times and you mm-hmm. loved it uh what do you call it speaking of mexico and guadalajara this not this is not on there but the canelo fight is official oh yeah kill him is that his name i think so i think so let me let me reach out yeah, it was recently announced like a few days ago I don't, I don't even remember at this point but i know for sure that <laughs> our previous conversation is kind of true now will he take the whole middleweight division i thought it was kind of dead the deal oh that's what someone said the deal was kind of dead but like i was shocked that the deal was dead it's uh caleb plant caleb plant and i thought the uh, deal was dead too and i thought we were gonna have to wait a long longer time but now it's confirmed is the fight in september or november i think the fight is in september i shouldn't have turned off my phone (laughs) but it's whatever (laughs) Uh, fight announced. Da 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 da. See the post. 
uh, this November. Oh, okay, okay. And there's okay. not even a date on it as well. It just says November. And They're that, probably finalizing a few things. Yeah, finalizing it and making sure everybody It's different. It's usually in September because of Mexican Independence Day. Oh, you're right. You... That is true. Is that why Canelo likes to fight in September? Yeah, that's why he fights in May because May is Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, And right. then September is Mexican And then you get everybody coming through and... God damn it. It's so cool. That's actually a smart idea. Mm-hmm. That is a smart idea. And then most of your... You're catered to your audience pretty much. Exactly. Right? But do you think... We said it before, but are you still confident that Canelo will take the whole middleweight division? Do you think he this will... This is an easier opponent than Billy Joe Saunders. <laughs> So well, that's what I've heard. So, so are you? Can you? Do you think you'll be able to predict a knockout, or how will he win? What round? Do you think he'll go the distance? Round seven. Round seven. Knockout. Knockout. I think Canelo gets knocked out. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. No, no. Canelo. Canelo's gonna knock Caleb out. I think. I think it'll be a TKO. I think round probably eight. TKO round okay, eight. Okay, so eight seven. Eight seven knockout. And then a technical knockout. So it could be anything at that point. I say technical knockout because technical knockouts happen. I think it's more common than yeah, the more the more common than a knock. You would think a knockout is okay, yeah. whatever. But like Billy Joe Saunders was in a knockout. It was a technical knockout, but it wasn't even a knockout. It was like a doctor stoppage a little bit, or well, he couldn't. Well, like it's not like well, we're gonna talk about McGregor. Oh, uh, not yet. Doctor stoppage. Doctor stoppage. There was no check. Mm. There was no check, but uh, uh, Billy but, Joe Saunders g- couldn't get out of the corner, if I remember correctly, yeah. right? So he wanted to keep fighting. Actually, he actually wanted to keep fighting, but his dad was like, "No, no, no, no." Uh, so his, camp, his camp said no. His dad. Yeah, his camp said no, but he wanted to continue fighting. He's crazy. Yeah, He's that's crazy, like, especially with Canelo on the ring. But like, he still looked like in decent condition, like very aware minus his face minus his face <laughs> minus his face but it seemed like it seemed like it, yeah hence why we thought that's it yeah. like I, I don't know i think his biggest threat in the middleweight it's the middleweight division yeah, right? yeah middleweight. i think his biggest threat in the middleweight division was billy joe saunders i think it's just cruising from here it's cruising from here and he's yeah. gonna take it off yeah mm, and i think it's middleweight and super middleweight i think yeah. right? i think it's super middleweight right is it middleweight I think it's one of those two. It's one of those two, but fucking Canelo's gone up to fight bigger dudes, and he yeah. knocked out that one dude in like the eleventh or twelfth round. I think he should move up to one seventy-five. Think he should move up to one seventy-five. Who would yeah. he fight though? Anyone, bro. Anyone. Just, just to prove that he could. He's a, he's prove he's a pound for pound. I mean, he's still the four weight champ, right? Or nah? Or is this rare from now on? I think he's still four weight champ. Yeah, four time champ or. Four time, you know, four weight weight classes. Canelo Alvarez I actually bought that from my brother. For like, he's like, I'll give it to you for twenty bucks, and I was like, sold, sold. The only thing, yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. Oh, that's actually a very cool hat. Yeah, because it's, it's shiny and all that. The only thing I don't like is that the fact that I can probably dirty this very easily because it's, it's white. white. Yes, yes. And then when I wear hats, I wear them for like long periods of time. Oh yeah, same. I don't want to sweat them up right here. The cat has a line that has a rosado on my forehead, you know, type yeah. shit. So, goddamn. But nah, just uh, use it, use it for that. Or if another Canelo fight came through, I- I'm gonna wear it. I regret not going to the Canelo fight with you Billy regret Joe not Saunders. Going? Uh, but he, he does a lot of fights in Texas. He's gonna come back. I you think. think he'll come back? Yeah. Mm, has to. He has to. Also, we've talked about it once before, multiple times, multiple times. We've both gotten the Pfizer. Nothing has happened to us. There's no chip. There's no nothing. It is FDA approved. approved. Finally. Finally. But. I thought it was already FDA approved, but I think it was just an emergency. Emergency approval to get them going. I mean, I don't really know at this point. It's, It's all kind of a blur now. Yeah. Now that it's like. Life feels normal again. It feels normal. It's like a back to normalcy, but at the same time. Kind of know we're still in a pandemic. Yeah, we're because still, and it's it hasn't been this bad since like March or something. Like yeah, that. there's actually been a COVID spike actually. Delta, and Delta, the Delta, 
And what were you going to say? Delta Plus. I heard there was a Delta oh, Plus there, term. There is a Delta Plus. Oh, my God. How could I forget that? There is a Delta Plus. I, I, I was, like, thinking, am I, am I like, hearing things? Was there a Delta Plus to begin with? Yeah, there was a Delta Plus. Man, there is all types of pluses. There's Disney Plus, fucking Hulu Plus, BET Plus. And now Delta Plus. Delta Plus. Man, you want to upgrade your subscription to COVID-19 Delta? You thought, yeah. it, was, you thought it was over? <laughs> you thought it was over? Put the mask back on. On, get your vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Top ten anime comebacks. <laughs> Top ten anime comebacks. I gotta clip that. Oh my god. Get a vaccine. Put on a mask. Oh, yeah. Be safe. Have you heard of the booster? What's the booster? They're about to approve a booster, like oh, a third dose. Like a third dose for the Pfizer or what kind? Pfizer. What is this boost? Put me onto it. I, I read about so, it once, but didn't look into it. They're about to. Pr- I think they're gonna prove it like early next month, mm. and it's gonna be where people that have gotten the vaccine six months after their second dose. It right. Was, it was, they're gonna, they were gonna do it for eight months, but now they're gonna do it for six months after the second dose. Which, if they approve early this month, I'm gonna pl- I'm gonna be. Yeah. I'm going to be eligible immediately. Oh, because we've already gotten it. Yeah. Wouldn't I be eligible as well since I already got it? When did you get it? I got it around April. So that's May, June, July, July, August, September, October. You wouldn't be eligible to October. So October. That's fine. I mean, that's yeah. just about a month and a half away. And then say if there's like a, a delay or something with approving, mm-hmm. then I'll, I'll just be sitting on my hands until October. Yeah. Man. And, then, and I got my vaccine late February. So um, by late August, I would be... Oh, uh, so you're already clear. You're already yeah, in the clear, clear. If, the, if they said, hey, come get this. Yeah, I'm ready, bro. But would they, how, how do you, do you know how they're going to contact anybody about that? Are they going to No, I that? think it's me people's responsibility to. So they're just going to set up, hey, testing, booster. booster, testing sites here or uh, vaccine sites here. Yeah, come get them. Like you... Six months plus, if you have six months with the vaccine, Are you gonna... go get your booster. Do you, I'm assuming you have to use the same card, right? Yeah, and, same card. And they'll put that on there for you? Yeah. Oh, all right. And the card already has like four or five slots. So. Right. So, man, they planned this ahead, didn't they? <laughs> I think it was the plan, bro. They planned this ahead. They're going to have five boosters. No, I hope not. Five. This will give you, co- like, once you get the fifth one, once you've been taking the vaccine for like two or three years... This fifth one will give you complete immunity. Someone can spit in your face. You won't get it. <laughs> I think you should be <laughs> spitting, spitting on people's faces anyway, bro. Uh, I think there's things besides COVID. Yeah, there, there's other things. There, the flu is still around. Oh, yeah. I, I know a lot of people that have gotten the flu lately. They've they gotten the flu lately? Yeah. Well, well it's I about hope to be. it's the flu. <laughs> it's about... Well, no, no. Well, like, they, they're, well, they're just coughing. Yeah. I doubt it's, like, I doubt it's even the flu. I have. I haven't even heard of a flu or a cold in a while, but then again, it is... I've gotten a cold. I got a cold in Mexico. Really? Yeah. Did you get scared? Nah. You're like, I, 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 didn't, I didn't, like, cough. Well, I didn't... It just that uh, my throat hurt it, and then I just... I was just congested, but... Oh. It was only for, like, four days, so... Damn, damn. I don't know, like... I haven't seen a flu, like, happen for a while, or cold even. Like, I think because no one wants to say that they yeah. have the cold. Like, hey, you're gonna go be sent back home, bro. You're gonna get sent home. I mean, that's true. If you're not really that sick, but you go into work and then you get sent home, that is kind of shitty. Yeah. To be fair, but man, yeah, they're gonna tell you go oh, get tested. It's like, oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Actually, somebody, uh, somebody recently uh, said they took off work and the job called them. Like they called in because they got. They got fucked up the night before, okay. and uh, they're they're like, "Nah, man, I'm sick, man. I'm calling in." Well, if you're calling in, uh, go get a COVID test. And they're like, oh, "Fuck, bro. fuck, yeah." And then they had to go, they had to go get it and whatever. And a buddy of mine, it's so he, uncomfortable to get the test. It's a buddy so of mine was like, "Hey, uh, well, this guy told a buddy of mine saying, hey, man, can you go with me and shit? Can you go with me, please?'" Why? I don't know. Okay. Right? Like, just tag along, right? <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, fuck. All right, I'm coming. And then my buddy realized, on the drive there, they realized, hey, oh, shit. I'm in the car with him. Oh, they're going to. I'm fine. I'm not getting a test. What if he's sick and I get it? <gasps> oh, <laughs> Turns out everything worked out, though. They they didn't get it. He yeah, took because he, was, he, he drank the night. Yeah. yeah. It was just hungover, bro. Yeah, it was just. <laughs> it was just... <laughs> But, like, imagine if he did have it, but, like, it, he, it wasn't the hangover or anything, and he gave it to my buddy. Oh, that would have been... <laughs> that would 
That would have been. That would have sucked. And it just started with a call. It's like it hey, just started yeah. with a call. Oops. And then, how do you feel about the booster? Do you do you believe this booster will work, or that it's even necessary? I'm not a scientist. I'm not gonna say yeah, anything. It's right. like if they announce a booster, I'm gonna take it. You're gonna take it. Yeah. I mean, it's like I'm I'm very confident with the two doses we already have. It's like. If they if they never announce the booster, it's like okay, fine, I'll I'll stick with my two doses. Right. I've been extremely confident about the vaccine. You know this. Yes, yes, you've been always confident, but this even is... even before you got your own vaccine, yeah. you're like, are you sure? You... Are you like, sure? I remember when you were questioning me. I was questioning because it was early, and I was and like, because you the only people that got vaccinated were doctors and like a few old people. You're right. They and I got to, lucky. They had to take care of the people who needed it first. To be yeah. fair. Like me, I had COVID without a vaccine and I was able to fight it off. But other people aren't, you know, they don't got the same, you know, privilege as I do, whether it's age or just immunity, yeah. you know, so they had to take care of who they had to take care of. And that's perfectly fine. But this booster, like to me, this booster kind of feels like it's like a video game DLC. Like, do we really need it? I mean, it's there. It's just the add-on. Bro. It's just it the was. add-on. Five ninety nine. Here's the add-on to to whatever we're, we're putting out. I'm I, ready. I will I'll take it. I hope I don't have any side effects. The first two times, I didn't have any side effects. Right. Neither did I. Or, I mean, it sore was, shoulder, but it that's it. It was just it. a sore, sore shoulder. Sore soldier. Sure, <laughs> yeah. A sure-ass soldier yeah, right yeah, here. Bro. Gonna take this booster <laughs> and kill that vaccine. Or, can not kill this virus. I, I remember <laughs> I went to I went to in and out uh, a while back, and I... Uh, you went to in and out Yeah. You like in and out It's all right. Okay. Right. Okay. We can have. A, I, I was just checking because we we can have a burger discussion. But what we did, <laughs> we or, should add that one of the topics, bro. <laughs> what a burger versus In and Out. Oh yes, we we are gonna do that shit right now. Fuck that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we went to In and Out, and uh, there we were talking about like, do, do we need a mask or whatever? And I was like, nah, this, well, I got a vaccine. What else are you gonna do? And then yeah. we started talking about the Delta and everything. And then I was like, man, this this Delta should really, it's like the neighborhood bully out here, man. Like, if you haven't got your vaccine, that Delta's gonna fuck you up. That's what I'm saying. Is like, if you if you have the vaccine, if you don't want to wear a mask. That's fine. But like, if you don't have the vaccine, please wear your mask, bro. Yeah. Do, at least do the bare minimum. Yeah. And they say... If but, you get, pe- but people that don't get the vaccine don't even do the bare minimum. Yeah. They say that, uh, like, if you happen to contract COVID Delta or COVID-19, the Delta variant, uh, that it won't affect you as much if you get the vaccine, right? Yeah. But then... It's say, like mild symptoms. Mild symptoms. But say if someone isn't vaccinated and they contract that, uh-oh. Mm-hmm. So I don't, I don't know. I, 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 don't, I can't give any more incentive to anybody... To either like, be safe or uh, everyone's been saying it. The president, yeah. celebrities, like literally everyone has been t- telling everyone, "Good vaccine, good vaccine." It's mm-hmm. been available since May. Yes. Like I feel like if you don't have the vaccine by this point, it's kind of your responsibility. It's your now. responsibility, exactly. Like I feel like if you're vaccinated, you shouldn't wear a mask. But like, please, if you're not vaccinated, wear a mask, bro. Yes, exactly. And then our esteemed, our esteemed governor. He got, he got covid Did he? <laughs> yeah he got covid oh yeah i forgot yeah, yeah. I like one or i saw i i saw an unreliable news source or yeah, i just follow it or whatever i just see it and i'm like okay do i believe this or do or not but i saw that they posted that the mandate has been lifted yet again or was then. it was it the onion the onion no nah. Do you know The Onion? The Onion. It sounds familiar. The Onion is like a parody news site where uh, like they just create a bunch of fake news. <laughs> that's, that's fucking funny. But now they said uh, he he banned another mandate again. I'm like, what the hell? Are you do- Didn't you just get this virus? And he's like, no, no, no. I'm okay, oh, you hear the, about the school. Ma- like they're not going to make schools mandate mask. Oh, yes. That was, that was a big thing because I have relatives that are back in school already and even the like the school district i was in they were like contemplating or trying to figure out how we can mandate a mask they mandated them thank mm-hmm. god everybody has Good. to wear a mask there but especially because everyone is so jam-packed and then there's parents that like the like their kids they're not risk they yeah they're not at fault like if you're not vaccinated they're not at fault it's their parents yeah fault so like one of the few places where, like, I would care if masks are still mandated are schools. Yes. 
because you have to sit there for eight hours a day, and that's students, faculty, staff, that's everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody's there for eight hours a day, whether mm -hmm. you're at a desk, whether you're moving around, whether you're a janitor, having to clean up and everybody's then there's no fucking online. mess. There's no online anymore. Yeah. Or everyone or is in person. I think there is some online, some, but... Nah, they just announced, FWISD, just announced. that hey, it's online. It's not, not online. It's in person this year. Fully in person this fully year. Fully in person. Mm. Because I saw on the news that certain school districts, not that one, uh, obviously now, but uh, are giving... They they still have the option for virtual learning, but it, it's going to be like later on. Like they're not going to start until like next month, like September, okay. or like the beginning of next month, which is like. So they haven't started the school year. Or? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Which is kind of weird when you think about it, because like I, I I take certain relatives to school and whatever, and you see like man going to passing all these goddamn schools. Everybody's going in person. Everybody has kids a mask. And kids, kids don't care. Yeah. Well, they, it's not that they don't care. Just they don't know the situation. They're, they're not. Fully, fully aware, and, and like you, you can, and You're like right. you can, like everyone shares the same desk, <clears throat> and I don't think teachers like clean the desk anymore. I don't know if about, I don't know about that. I think it, I think it depends on the person now yeah. if they're gonna do it or not, and that's kind of, that, that's too much of a chance. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like you gotta, you gotta hope that that person is smart enough to take precaution when precaution is needed, mm -hmm. right? So. I don't know. How do you feel about these mandates getting lifted? And like, it's like, it's like fucking, I don't know, Slinky. We're going back. We're going forth. What's going on here? I don't know. I feel like they should not be mandated anymore. Besides schools. Besides, besides schools. Yeah. If you're vaccinated, good job. You did your part. Right. Don't wear your mask if you want to. But if you're not vaccinated, please wear your mask. Right. So please wear it until you get vaccinated. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And. <sighs> I think he's fine, but man, oh man, a lot of people, when all this stuff was being said, were flaming Mr. Abbott. I couldn't, I can't bear to say his name. It's you know so, what? I'm just going to say A. It's, it's, so, <laughs> it's so frustrating. This pandemic, it, it, it shouldn't never have turned political, bro. It shouldn't have. It's just, it, it's more of a. At the beginning, everyone was united. It was like the, one of the very few moments where like. Right. Everyone was united. Like, okay. There's this pandemic. Let's all stay indoors. Yeah. Remember when everyone stayed indoors? Yeah. Like, we were able to follow that for, like, a month? I can't. Some people. <laughs> well, 90% <laughs> of people were able to follow it, no matter what political beliefs you had. Yeah. And now... It's it's all different yet again. And yeah. I think it, the other side of that, I feel that uh, there's a lot of individualism, to say the least. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody's making their own choice. Yeah. Even though some of them have more risk than others, at least yeah. there's individuality between everybody again, and you know that's what kind of our country is. There's a bunch of individuals, different people. For uh, either you're a foreigner, you were born here. We're all kind of in this thing together. Yeah. And it's better when we work together, but it's also good to have individuality with your per a person, and hopefully yeah. someone's making the right decisions, <laughs> right? Yeah, but like. It's about science. It's it's about science. Yeah. It's not like some politician is saying this like it's like, oh, it, it doesn't matter like if if some politician were saying something, like, okay, I get the divide, but like this is science. This is like yeah. people's lives at hand, bro. It's a sickness. Yeah, it's literally a, a, a virus. Yeah. I I don't understand. I don't understand. Your wife is in me DMs. There was no check. Poor your Conor McGregor 3. Hey, prediction got it right, bro. I got the prediction. What right. was the prediction? That Poirier, 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 Poirier would win. Poirier would win. And my prediction was kind of true as well because now Poirier has so many other opportunities right now. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's the fight to make. Him and Charles Oliveira for the lightweight title. And then in the wings, in the wings of that, in the lightweight division, you got Michael Chandler, who got beat by Charles Rivera. And then you got Justin Gaethje, who's a bad motherfucker as well. Michael Chandler, Justin Gaethje are going to go at it. And then you got Charles Rivera and Dustin Poirier. And here's Connor with a broken leg talking shit to everybody. He's, he's rehabbing quicker he, than he, everyone thought he was going to rehab. No, he's already rehabbed. He's already... Yeah, he's, he's been he possibly, can walk now. He can walk now. How? I don't well, know. like when you have like millions of dollars, you can afford the best treatment in the yeah, world. Yeah, avoid the best treatment. But do you think he's being able? He's tried to train, but do you think he'll be able to train the same anymore? 
well, they said he has an unbreakable rod or something like that, or an unbreakable thing in his leg that they surgically put there. So, and he's Connor is confident in it. I don't know if you've seen the video, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, Poirier won. McGregor lost. I've gained more respect for Poirier. Right. I've lost a bit of respect for Connor, but I get why he did it. He, he yeah. like it's to secure another fight. Yeah. It's because nobody could have predicted. I I didn't predict that. I didn't think he would break his fucking leg. I there's been a lot of people breaking their legs lately in the UFC. Yeah. Most notably, uh, the Chris, I I talked about this on a uh, uh, podcast about a couple months ago about Chris Weidman and then Uriah Hall. And the thing about that one was Chris Weidman broke his leg with Uriah Hall doing the same thing Anderson Silva did to him years before and both ended in the same way. Broke the leg to the point where... Oh, yeah, and you see those people, those vids on your feet and it's like, uh... Uh, right? And even that one with Connor, like, I don't know what could have... I thought he was just... He just misstepped wrong or whatever the hell. But, like, seeing him, his ankle go... <laughs> yeah. And he's like, ah! And it falls over. And I, I thought... I he thought was- and then he and he was still able to talk like a few minutes later. Yeah. Like nothing happened. Like he was in pain, but like I don't know. I feel like people would be on the ground like crying in agony. Bit, in agony over the I, thing. I think it's because that adrenaline. Oh yeah, that adrenaline's like you don't. There's people that like, go through very traumatic right things physically and like they don't feel it for a while. Yeah, until like a lot later because of the adrenaline rush. Like oh my gosh, it just happened. Right, and then I think. Do you think it was a legitimate win for Poirier? Oh, yeah. He won the first round in my book. He, yeah. Like, because he already had him on the ropes, and I'm like, okay, Connor has to come back. So but Connor had some good moments. Connor had some good moments. He almost, I thought he was going to choke out yeah. Dustin Poirier right there with a the guillotine. I was like, there's no way he locked in a guillotine. There is no way. And then when. Did like, you see how Dustin had his, like, toes? Yeah, toes on the K, and then he was able to escape. And I was like, bro, that is a good moment right there. I was freaking out. I was like, okay, neither of them are playing around. Here we go. And then when I saw Connor have his accident, I thought it was a knockdown. I thought, like, he probably clipped him and I just didn't see. And I thought Poirier was about to get the, the finish right you, there. You're eating your food. Oh, my God. Oh, my happened? God. Yeah. Yeah. And then I see. And then the round ends. But then that happened. I'm like, nah, that's it. What? What? You would think it would like go like at least three rounds. Right? I I was hoping for the whole five, but yeah, because everyone is so hyped up about right. it. Right, and then to end like that, I I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I, like Dustin did better that fight than Connor. Mm-hmm. I don't think it was like dominance. I don't think it was like pure dominance by Dustin. They were kind of uh, at a stalemate. Yeah, um, it felt like a stalemate, and every time they threw one thing. Like, say if Dustin threw one thing out, Connor threw it back. Connor was trying to throw a thing out, Dustin threw right back. Exactly. And then it was just a matter of, you know, who breaks first. I don't want to use that, but yeah. that's kind of what happened. Yeah. I'm not satisfied with that fight. I'm not satisfied either. And he's trying to go for four. I feel like we shouldn't. Well, obviously, they had to stop it. But, like, I feel like that fight. Is, it, w- it wasn't a good ending to the trilogy, I feel like. Yeah. They should replace that fight with. Another fight. Another fight. And see who wins that one. Mm, I see. So, d- where do you think Poirier will go? You think Poirier is going right to the title fight, and you think he's going to just cement who he is? Or... Hell yeah. All right. And then Connor. What do you think is going to happen with Connor? I think you should aim for smaller fights for now. Like Yeah. Because he when he fought Dustin before the second fight, yeah. he was kind of rusty. Like he didn't fight that many fights, like yeah, yeah. And, he, he, and he apparently, and apparently, he only won one fight since Obama left office, which I heard. Oh yeah, they they when they were comparing, it's because I think you're talking about the same fight. You're talking about him, his win against Donald Cerrone at welterweight. Yeah, and that is true. He had a layoff, and everybody was like, "Well, is Conor going to be the same?" And then when he came out of bat out of hell, everybody had their confidence back into Conor. Yeah, but then yeah, you got to also think. Okay, he moved back down to lightweight, which is, you know, moving up is a little more easier if you're up there, but getting down was always hard, and you always saw Connor's weight cut. It always looked weird. He looked He looked like a skeleton. Yeah. So, goddamn. I feel like he should do a few, like, not too hard fights, but, like, yeah, some good fights. Like, at welterweight. Uh, I'd say at welterweight. He looked great at welterweight. He looked great. 
get his confidence up. Yeah. Win, beat a few people because he, he has talent. He has talent. Just because he lost these against Dustin, Dustin is at his top of his game. Yeah. He has talent. Like, he should fight a few people, get his confidence back up, get a lot of the rust out. Yeah. But will any fight be small? Because if you're going against Connor, that's a big fight already. Well, move up. Slowly move up. Harder, 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 harder opponent. Oh. Until you move up to Dustin Poirier again. Move up to Dustin Poirier. I feel like the fight shouldn't even happen next year. Maybe like twenty early 2023, mid-2023. 2023. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't think people will be patient enough for that fight. I don't, I don't think I could be patient enough. I think it's because... Well, we have we had that trilogy already. The trilogy's done. I feel like the trilogy was like the third fight happened a bit too quickly, too quickly after yeah. the second fight. Yeah, but that's what fans want to see, and we got it regardless. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's easier on the UFC to make fights because mm-hmm. it's by one person controlling everything. Right. The only other trilogy I know, and what I said before, was uh, Nate Diaz. And his brother's about to come back, I think, at UFC 268, I believe. I'm not too sure. It's a it's a future event that's going to happen in about a month or so. Mm-hmm. And I'm hyped to see his brother Nick fight yet again. And he's fighting against Robbie Lawler. That's going to be their second fight together. Okay. The first one was years ago. Like You, you can compare it to uh, the same thing they did with Dustin Poirier 1 and... Or Dustin versus Connor one and Dust versus Connor three because they're gonna make comparison years later, right? So I'd say Nate Diaz will be Connor's next one, but I don't know. You think? I think. I mean, that's the only other person I think he should fight because Gaethje and Chandler are already there, unless unless he wants to move up to welterweight. But I doubt he can throw. Well, who is that welterweight right now? You got Usman. Who's crazy at 170? He's the champ. He knocked out Jorge Masvidal. I mean, I'd say Connor versus Masvidal would be cool, but I don't know if they're gonna make that happen. <laughs> then you got you got other guys like Gilbert Burns, who's a crazy, crazy fight too. You got uh, the guy who beat uh, Nate Diaz in his fight already. You got a uh, fuck. His name is slipping me. Fuck. But uh, he he's on he's on the rise as well. He beat Nate Diaz. He's on the rise p- for another fight and for another title sh- title shot. Leon Edwards, that's his name. Leon Edwards beat Nate Diaz, and like you know he 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 wants the one seventy belt as well. So I don't know where Connor where Connor could go. Where do you think Connor could go? He could go anywhere at this point. Like I don't know. Ah. He he's been out of the game for for so long. He fought Dustin. He lost. He could go anywhere at this point. He could attempt another rematch with Dustin. Dustin is obviously not happy with what Connor said. <laughs> or he could try to build up because he's rehabbing. Well, yeah. he finished rehab, but like he has to get back in the game mm-hmm. at 100%. He could go anywhere. Connor versus Habib, too. No! <laughs> no! no, no, no. I, I think Habib is kind of... Yeah, he's retired. Yeah, he, he's and, retired. And I don't think he wants to fuck with Connor anymore. Yeah. He, already, he already, he's like... You, and it's too much drama for him. It was too much drama. It was the first time, and I don't think the UFC would ever yeah. want to do that again. It, uh, it was like about family and like, whoa. Whoa. The only other person I think Connor should fight is pr- probably Tony Ferguson, and everybody wants... Mm-hmm. Not everybody, but a lot of the community wants Tony Ferguson to kind of retire already. It would be a good Beca- send-off. Yeah, because, well, t- I think it's because Tony Ferguson has amassed so much punishment throughout the years. And him being very unorthodox, either dishing it out or taking it, it every fighter got their break. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he still wants to go is amazing, but come on, man. There it's is- like with... Cowboy. Yeah, well, Cowboy Donald Cerrone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's got a couple fights left. And if he really wants to do it, he's going to want to do it. But, like... He's lost a lot lately. Yeah, yeah, but he's also got the most wins in the UFC. Yeah. So, I don't know. These guys trying to go up against the UFC now. The UFC is always trying to uh, break out new stars, break out new champions. And they are. Yeah, and they're still trying to run with the dogs here. But, like... Everybody's got their time. Everybody's got their point. Especially in the UFC, where like it's so demanding for your body. Mm, very like good. it's not like well, like with boxing, you could push to forty if you want to. Mm, yeah, you could. Like Matt, well, Manny, well, we're gonna talk about Manny. Manny Pacquiao. But like not right now. We're gonna yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, UFC. Yeah. Well, like the UFC careers end sooner. Yeah. Or like your peak. Like once you leave your peak, like you're not as good as like you were when you were young. I don't know. The UFC affects your body more. Yes. 
block. Yes, and then about the UFC still on it. We, oh my God, the dangers outside the octagon and inside. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, Yana uh, Konikskaya, I don't want to butcher that, versus Irene Aldana. And Konikskaya was apparently pregnant. That's oh, the story hey, that, hey. that went around for a minute. Like, uh, thoughts? <laughs> well, I remember I, I saw that in your story, and I was like, bruh, are it, you serious? It's because, to give y'all some context, uh, there was a UFC fight. I'm sorry, I'm just talking <laughs> about the memes about the baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, there is a fighter known as uh, Yana Konikskaya. I, I believe, uh, she she had a fight on July 10th, and it, I think it was on July 10th, it was the same card as uh, McGregor Poirier 3, mm-hmm. so she had a fight, and then on August 16th, she announced that she was pregnant. And there were, like, people were correlating with, like, with, like and it says, in this post, timing-wise, that means this, she must have been pregnant during her fight, and then... How pregnant was she, like, a few, how many weeks? I mean, uh, I mean, she announced... I, I mean, right in the picture right here, mm-hmm. it says August 16th right there. She looks like she could be at least a month or two. Oh, she was a little over a month pregnant in her fight. Oh, yeah, that could affect. Yeah. Already. And then... It, it, def- it, it wasn't like a few days. It was like... Like, I love all these MMA pages because, one, they're kind of funny, but, two, they're also... They're, they have to be creative in order to, you know, get the story across, mm-hmm. get to their viewers. But, guys, why are y'all posting this in a, in a video of her taking a body shot? Oh no 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 no! There's some lines that shouldn't be crossed, guys. <laughs> guys, but we've already talked about weight cutting. We've talked about how. But this is like a whole different thing. Whole, we've talked about leg breaks. We've talked about people getting knocked that fuck out and getting CTE over the years. Mm-hmm. A brightness? like. Like, it's one thing if it's your own body and it's like you're the fighter that's getting affected because you signed up for it. But, bro, that's that's a, that's a your baby, bro. Yeah. That's someone else being affected. Like, I, I don't know. How passionate could you be to want to make that risk? But then again, the only other side I could see to that is... And she would know, and like, if there's a possibility of being pregnant. Yeah. She would know if there's even a possibility. Maybe, but money? Money for the fight? I mean, it was a... just maybe the passion. Maybe. I mean, it was a big... uh, July 10th was a big card, to say the least. So, getting maybe the payday. Getting the bag. Getting the bag at what cost? I don't know. You're going to get... This is more than getting canceled. This is more than getting canceled. This is about, like... This is legit. This is legit. This is crazy. I I don't know how... Do you think this should be punished? The UFC? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would think so. Uh, there is no reason. Like, I understand if someone's a fighter and they need the money or they just love it, but there is no reason a pregnant woman should be fighting another woman in a cage. <laughs> and then body shot after <laughs> body shot, leg shots. Like, uh, yeah. the other person's trying to take your head off. They're literally trying to take your Almost head off. Almost trying to kill you. Yeah, like once that the once that octagon closes, there, there, there's rules, but there's not a lot of them. So it's a whole lot of them. <laughs> I mean, there's rules. There's rules. Don't get me wrong, but like when uh, there's no rule saying I don't get to punch you in the face or in the body. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, the UFC should punish her she, she she probably knew there was a possibility that she was pregnant oh the, uh, punish her punish the fighter K- uh kitskanya i don't i forget i forget no no, no, no not, well not the fighter that fought her but like her the one that was pregnant yeah yeah kitsanya yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. they think you think they should punish her yeah mm. she i think she pretty much knew that there was a possibility possibility that she was pregnant like come on guys we, we know how how people get pregnant yeah right <clears throat> but I don't know if they're gonna want to do that, or, or at even... least like make a precedent about this. Or like, yeah. there's a new approach to like, I don't know if there should be pregnancy tests, but something should change. Yeah, like we talked about hydration tests for weight uh, for weight cutting. So they also do well. I, I'm assuming they test for drugs, but now there's the uh, Nate Diaz rule where certain, or no, 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 like any uh, marijuana. 
uh, tested or are gone. Any marijuana tests are gone. Or are if someone gets tested. Yeah. Nice, bro. So nice. CBD or any THC, uh, it's under the Nate Diaz rule now. Crazy enough. Why, right? why is it under the Nate Diaz rule? Did they find weed in his system? Uh, they probably did. And also for, um, uh, I think, Nick Diaz as well. That's why he's barely coming back now in 2021 because he was on a five-year suspension. Why? From the, uh, I forget, I think the Nevada Athletic Commission, State Athletic Commission. I, th- I think it's because they said he tested positive for THC in his system. That's so dumb. That and they so were saying, dumb. and they were saying, oh, it's performance enhancing. It's not. Or like you're not gonna, like it's gonna give you some sort of edge. Was the was the case that they were pushing, and it's. If you go look back at this case, you're gonna be like, this is dumb. Which you which you just said tr- is yeah. true. It's dumb. And then it's. I, the most hilarious part of that one was uh, when they had him in the, like, it like it was, like, court a little bit, but, like, it's the commission, and then they're asking him all these questions and shit, and then every, like, they ask him, like, 20, 30 questions, and he says the same thing for all of them. He's like, uh, Fifth Amendment. Wait, I play the fifth. I play the fifth. <laughs> like, Fifth Amendment every time. Like, uh, did you know this, yeah. this, and this, this at this time? Fifth because Amendment. we did illegal. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I, don't, I, I think he just didn't want to get punished by the UFC. Yeah. Did, uh, did you know that it was in your system, Fifth Amendment? And were, were you no, were you notified of, the, of these tests the day before as a standard Fifth Amendment? Fifth Amendment. Fifth Amendment. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't want to, like, not, not incriminate himself, but, like... Right get more punished than he already was and that's the i don't know how true it is but like any like i've seen enough or what the agenda has been pushed from multiple shows or anything you see in court like whether it's trials in the news or trials on like a fictional tv show or whatever as long as you can prove it in some way shape or form in court it could be as true as possible you just need the evidence hence why he didn't want to say one thing, and then they mix it up with one thing. He probably had a lawyer during this. Yeah, no, 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 no. He did. He had, he had like two of them. <laughs> and he's rich, so some good lawyers. I think. I want to say yeah, yeah. The Diaz. I mean, the Diaz brothers are superstars, so I'm pretty yeah. sure they have household li- names. Yeah, they're household names. So I'm assuming they got their own CBD companies. They got all this other thing. So I'm pretty sure they're 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 pretty all right, right? But I don't know. I don't think the UFC itself will take responsibility for any of it. Oh, yeah, and they're not going to take responsibility because this isn't, like, new. Like, what? Yeah, like, like what we said or with a, on a podcast before we said or an, a friend of mine said he, it, it will take only one death. It will take, like, someone having to go through the worst possible outcome in order for someone to change or for the Sadly. UFC to change. Like, say if somebody, like, because we started talking about weight cutting, and then we started talking about what if somebody goes into shock and somebody, you know, one of the fighters, you know, they, they, they're not able to be there because something happened. Or they well, had complications. the UFC is, like, somewhat new. Well, it's not, like, old. It's not, like, boxing or, like, it's been a thing for, like... They're still making new rules. Yeah, they're still making new rules. <laughs> right? It's like... We got the Nate Diaz rule. We got... And they were testing for everything back then. So, I don't know. Or, you know, pregnancies... Get slipped in. It's like, it's like with many other sports, like the MLB, the NFL. Like, there's dangers that there were. There was many dangers early on. Many people got hurt. Yeah, it, it took people getting hurt for them to change the rules. Exactly. And then <laughs> going back to Connor. Connor said, "Oh, I had doctors check me. I already had a broken leg. I'm. I. I doubt they would put then, him back in the octagon with exactly, a broken leg. Exactly. Like then, why? Why did you agree to the fight if he had a broken leg? Right. Well, like, I don't know. I feel like the win is a win. He got it. He got it. But, like, I don't know. I just don't like Like, how he got it. That's why I wrote that no doubt. I wrote saying, hey, you know, there's dangers outside the octagon. Mm -hmm. Whether, like, it's enough to put your body on the line in a fight. It's another thing where you're weight cutting pre before this fight. It's enough that you're training t- not too hard, but you're also training. You have to train hard. You have to spar, spar with people, and you run the risk of... Well, like, there's things where, like, the UFC should regulate, and there's things where, like, it's the responsibility of the... Of the fighter, the yeah. Fighter. And a lot of the responsibility is on the fighter and on the camp itself. Mm-hmm. So, like... And it seems like the UFC is the middleman. 
a little bit with with that. But the UFC isn't isn't the middleman. The UFC is the company yeah. that employs them. Or I don't know if y'all want to say if I want to say employed. I don't yeah, know. It, it's not like boxing where it's like, oh my gosh, you have to. You have to what? Like there's some there's like not a single entity in boxing. There's right. Like so many entities, but the UFC is like it controls everything. Right. And like they could release somebody if they want to, or yeah. they could do this, they could do that. If a fighter is not living up to the expectations, then they they cut them, right? So mm-hmm. I I don't know I don't know if they're private contractors is that what they call them or they're employees technically I I don't well don't they have to like hire and fire people yeah like, like if they want to add someone to the roster they have to fire someone if it's full maybe so it, it, it happened with like who's what's that guy's name which one the one that fought like Jake Paul like a few. Months ago, the Ben Askren. Yeah, Ben Askren. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. had to fire someone or release someone. I think. Well, I think Ben Askren was on like on ends to retire anyway. But that it, that does make sense. He was technically in the welterweight division, and then now you know someone else comes up when the spot is there, you know, type thing. So <laughs> I don't know. I know that caught you off guard, and so did I. I didn't think. Like man, we weren't even gonna talk about pregnancy. Yeah, yeah. right. Where like it was like a, like like a last thing, last minute thing where it's like, hey, we need to talk about we, it. In the podcast. Like holy shit, we this needs to be said. So UFC do something. <laughs> so many controversies or things to talk about in the UFC, and it's so double edged sword. Like like you said, they sh- she should get punished. I kind of think. The UFC should kind of get punished for not thoroughly checking, but then again, a lot of it it's, it's on new. it's on the fighter, like you said, fighter's responsibility yeah. as well. If you know you're not well, why are you putting yourself on the line? But then again, there's other reasons, like whether oh I've done, I've trained so hard this, I got the passion for it, or simply yeah. the bag. Well, it's complicated. I feel like move on from this what happened happened what happened happened but well, like just let's have a different approach from now on for yeah. this not to happen ever again exactly exactly <sighs> man that was a long thing but i've been to our waterburger versus in and out oh yeah the waterburger versus in and out well fucking waterburger wins Waterburger. <laughs> okay thank you thank you that's all i wanted to hear <laughs> have you okay so how how's in and out in and out is it's pretty simple. Do you try the fries? Yeah, the fries are they're, they're okay. St- they're stale. They taste like cardboard. They, they kind of their texture is a well, little. I don't, I don't know if it's because they're it's in Texas and it's different here, but like. Is it because we actually deep fry shit, right? Or what is it? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. The fries and the burger taste like cardboard. I have to add like I don't know if like you're supposed to add salt. I don't know, because like in what a burger they're already salted for you. Right. But like I don't know. It tasted like nothing. It's not that it tasted bad. It tasted like nothing. It tasted like nothing. It didn't taste like a burger. It didn't taste like fries. It kind of... When I ate this burger, I kind of felt sick. Like Actually? A, a, li- a little bit because all I tasted was... like Because I just got a regular cheeseburger. Mm-hmm. There's And there's so many other different combinations. Like there's the regular cheeseburger, the hamburger, the double cheeseburger. The, but then you got animal style, like the secret oh, menu yeah, type I shit. Heard, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never tried it, but like you're drenching something in cheese... You're drenching it in cheese or whatever the hell. And all I tasted from this fucking cheeseburger was the cheese yeah. and the vegetables. That's all I tasted. <laughs> so, I don't know. Whataburger wins by a month. Water, yeah. Whataburger wins. And there's so many different options in Whataburger. Yes. Like, you got the pico de gallo burger. Yeah. You got the <laughs> you got the mushroom. No, 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 the no, 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 no. The mushroom Swiss burger. That's my favorite. Is it? Yes. I like the patty melt. The patty melt. A friend of mine said she got sick from the patty melt. <laughs> it's very good. It is very good, though. The avocado. The avocado burger. burger. Bacon burger. Yeah. They're always including all these new things. And then you got just that taste of a water burger. Like, all the diced onions. You got that uh, uh, that signature, you know, ketchup. Have bacon. you tried the cookies in water burger? The cookies? No. They're amazing. They're you amazing? The cookies. Are they better than McDonald's cookies? Way better, way, way better. better than what McDonald's cookies. Exactly. They often yeah. give them out for free. Really? Or, or often, like if you, I remember I ordered like four cookies and they gave me eight. What? And I remember when I came back from Austin, I went to Whataburger and it's like, oh, two cookies and they gave them for free. For free? Hell yeah, hell yeah! I've had their apple pies. The apple pies are the hot and ready, all fucking good. It's good. I remember my dad told me after we went to In and Out, 
now I get why they call it in and out. In and out, you you get in, you get out. That's it. Yeah, and I'm first time in, last time in, first time out, last time out. Yeah, literally in and out. You can say the same thing for what a burger because what a burger. What a, exactly? Yeah, exactly that. right. Even the name is better. The name is better. It's it's what a burger. What a burger. Not water. Water burger. Water burger. <laughs> People. <laughs> It's okay. I, I struggled with it. The same thing. Whataburger. I as noticed a kid, that as a kid. I was like, hey, wait. It's what a burger. <laughs> and as a kid, I didn't, even, I didn't even eat burgers. I used to just eat chicken strips from there. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, because I, I was like, a little finicky, little picky fucker. <laughs> same, but I, I just ate a plain and dry. Just the cheese and the meat. Then. The cheese and the meat. I wouldn't even eat the cheese before. The, the junior Whataburger. They got that too. Yeah. I just ate the meat. And the bun, and that's all. And then I moved up to the cheese and meat, and then yeah, uh, and I put everything. And on. then from then on, yeah. You remember back then they had uh, the Whataburger toys? No, McDonald's. Yeah. Type, uh, McDonald's is like reign supreme with all the toys. Toys, but uh, back then, and it was kind of weird the way they did it because you know, they had their kids' meal, obviously. But Whataburger, they had like this like superhero thing going on. They had like this Water guy. Oh, I remember. Atta boy was the little one, and then there was a girl character. I don't remember, but uh, I remember they would have like either cut out cardboard things or coloring things with mm-hmm. crayons. Oh, you know what? Now I remember. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or they had they would rarely have toys of the characters, or they would always have like a comic strip of those characters, which was cool. I was like. Hell yeah! Remember when the Whataburgers had like the outside? They had the design of yes, a triangle. Yes, of a triangle. Now a they, lot of them don't have it anymore. Yeah, a, a lot of places change design too. You if, could say that for. It just feels so like corporate now. Yeah, I mean, like McDonald's now feels like a lot of corporate now. Yeah, with the design. What, uh, McDonald's used to feel a uh, colorful and playful. Red, yellow, red, yellow, all these other colors, and then <laughs> now it's just all gray, white, black. black yeah. yeah. It's all gloomy and shit, and all you got is the sweetie meal to, to make me feel better. <laughs> but just, I actually went to a water, uh, McDonald's the other day, and I was just getting like McChickens or whatever, and they changed the bags. They got the the sweetie meal on the bags now, like all pink. I've not tasted the sweetie meal yet. Me neither. Me neither. I kind of want to. It's, it's pretty much a burger with ch- chicken nuggets and a Sprite that's like, supposed to be extra spicy. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> and um, I ha- I asked the uh, the lady there, and she was like, she she was all a little confused. I was like, hey, y'all changed the bags up? And she's like, excuse me, what? And I was like, y'all changed the bags and everything? She's like, yeah, it's 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 the the sweetie meal. You ever heard of it? And I was like, yeah, but I wish I didn't. <laughs> I, wish I did. <laughs> I wish I didn't hear of it, but like uh, apparently uh, you're supposed to dump the the sauce on the burger dump dump the burger in the sauce or uh, that's uh, you're supposed to ask for sprite and uh, make- i don't know mcdonald's coming up with these weird things all the time like yeah. the bts meal and then the bts the, meal the travis scott the travis burger. scott meal was okay i must just it down like a normal it's just burger. a normal thing it's just yeah. a limited time collaboration yeah coming near you <laughs> and then uh, oh they always come up with a lot of memes when they come out with these meals exactly. like remember the travis scott meal when they had like a lot of memes yeah and they would make the things out of fries and everything People yeah. actually bought the merch too. They made merch to go along with it. They made, oh yeah, yeah. I, I and saw, they and they bought it. I saw then, it on TikTok. And then I remember a lot of people. You have TikTok. I've had TikTok <laughs> barely like in late 2018, bro. I've had TikTok for almost three years. I was one of the first people. I used to be made fun of. Oh, so you're the TikTok. OG with TikTok. I was the OG. It was actually funnier back then. It's still cool. TikTok is still cool. I mean, but it was funnier. Here's the thing. I've seen so many TikToks just water everything down and everybody be posting TikTok. The, yeah and Are it's the same it? thing and it's the same thing over and over i remember tiktok when they were first advertising and whatever like on youtube or that's other, when i downloaded it when they were advertising when right. i thought it was cringe and made fun of it but it was different to say the least yeah and that was before instagram and it's not it's before instagram reels it's before everybody jumped on the train of short videos just short things to watch and constant flow of all these short videos because then you came out with instagram reels then you came out with snapchat um uh highlights snapchat highlights or snapchat whatever then you got uh, twitter doesn't do that i don't think and then you got obviously got tiktok mm-hmm. so dang um but going back to it the whataburger is Whataburger the best burger though? It's better than In and Out. Better to way better than than In and Out. Um, have you ever had Gross Burgers? No. Have you tried um, what's that burger place? My gosh, why am I forgetting? Which one? 
It's in the stockyards. It's in the stockyards. Hmm. It's, never- uh, it's very common. Everyone knows it. Oh my gosh. What I don't. Call? I don't know it. It's so good. Um, huh. It rivals Whataburger. I, I would even say it's a bit better than Whataburger. <laughs> better. So McDonald's ain't in the, ain't even in the conversation, is it? Let me let me search this. <laughs> keep, keep, keep talking. Yeah, while. because I think I don't think uh, McDonald's uh, laps up to Whataburger. Whataburger, I, I'll McDonald's I'll put it above. Are good. They're they're okay. I like the dollar burgers. Dollar Still burgers look, are good. They're, they're cheap. They're, they're real tiny, che- cheap ass dollar burgers, but shit, it gets the job done. Um, Griff's, I kind of wanted to put it up there as well because of one, it's like it, lo- it looks like a mom and pop place. Which one? Uh, Griff's. I've never been to Griff's. Griff's is actually pretty good. It's just really greasy. But you know what? Oh, burger Shake Shack. Is? Shake Shack. Oh, welcome to Shake Shack. We shake all day. <laughs> Have you been to Shake Shack? No, but I've I've seen it's it very before. Good. It's, it's a bit pricey. No, like it kind of does look. It looks like it's corporate. It's all corporate, but they're also it's like very good. You should. You should mm, go I should. I should. So, so what? What's better, Water Burger or Shake Shack? Then Water Burger has more options. Ah, I do it. Yeah. Yeah, but Shake Shack, like if you want like a standard burger, Shake Shack barely tops out Water Burger. You know what? It beats it by a bit. A by a amount. bit. I th- I used to think Shake Shack was Five Guys. <laughs> Oh, I've never been to Five Guys. Five Guys is pretty much, I think it's the same formula where it's burger place, you know, kind of like that, but also uh, pricey. Oh, yeah. So, damn. Damn, damn, damn. But no, Whataburger, Whataburger tops it off. The funny thing about Whataburger is, the last thing I'll say about that one is, I didn't know for years that it was only a southern thing. Are you I serious? I'm serious. I am dead ass. I didn't know for I'm, like. I'm so lo- offended right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bro. Since I was a kid, I, I used to be very passionate about Whataburger. Yeah. I was offended over anything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, and and I remember. You know, what, guys. I'm gonna leave this part. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. The reason I didn't know that until like probably like the end of high school. Because there was a guy I knew who... Till the end of high school, bro? I thought you... Like, middle school, maybe? But middle... At the end of high school? Yeah. I didn't know. I thought people were just blessed to have Whataburger everywhere. That's why I was like, all right, cool. But then, I uh, there was a guy who I met on YouTube once, and like I would watch his streams every now and then. And I told him, hey... Because he worked at McDonald's at the time. And I used to be like, man, fuck McDonald's. It's all about that Whataburger. What's Whataburger? <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck is a Whataburger? What is that? And I was like... Oh, he's in like the northeast part of America. He is nowhere near a Whataburger. Doesn't even know what the fuck it is. It's not even a southern thing. It just uh okay, it's mainly concentrated in Texas, but like maybe Florida, Georgia. Like, They're branching they, out. They have like a few Whataburgers, but not very common. Not very common. It's mostly a Texas thing. Yeah. And that's what I like. That's S- SMH. I didn't think you would you didn't know that Whataburger was a southern I didn't know thing. that for a long time, but once I figured that out, I was like Wow, I got I kind of lucked out to have this place. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And then that, and it actually makes it very very much more special because it's like a it's it's like the culture here in Texas where it's like you have to see it to be there. It's if, like if you want to experience it, you got to go there. It's like we have Bucky's, we have what a burger, we have yeah H E B. Well, I saw an H E B in Mexico actually. Yeah, you saw, they have H E B out there. I saw one or two. Over God, there. Damn, I, there's not even H-E-B in this area. You got to go outwards yeah, yeah. to find an like H-E-B. Half an hour. Half an hour, probably. Man, I don't really know. But after uh, the... <laughs> it, it's it's official. Whataburger's just superior. Yeah. Whataburger's just superior. McDonald's, good luck. McDonald's is good. McDonald's is yeah. good, though. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... I'm not going to crap. I'm, I'm going to see what ne- meal they ne- make next. But In-N-Out is trash, guys. In-N-Out is trash. That, that, that's like... The, I, 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 my respects to any other restaurant, but In-N-Out. So, if you were to eat the burgers back from school, what would you eat? The burger the from, school? from school? The burgers from school by a mile. <laughs> I remember back in school, uh, they would just serve all the sides. Like, what would you put in the burger? Like, the lettuce, the tomato, and the pickles, and the little I, thing? I was so delicate, bro. I didn't even put them. I just ate the burger with the cheese. Really? And the meat. That's, yeah. all, that's all I did, too. But I remember I used to see everybody get all the sides, stack them up. They get the little little container of pickles, yeah. and they put those two little pickle things in there. Do you like pickles or not? I do. I like pickles. I like pickles. The one thing, The one thing about pickles is... I don't know where and I don't know how, but one time I had a purple pickle. 
What do you mean you had a purple pickle? I had a purple pickle that was like someone dunked it in like Kool Aid or something, and it turned it. It, the inside, I, I, I shit you not. I thought that, I thought this was gonna come to a joke or something. A purple pickle. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking, oh, you know, like, no, he's serious. He's really good. <laughs> it. it was a purple pickle. I guess they dumped it in like, or they soaked them in like Kool Aid or like purple Kool Aid or whatever. I was thinking of Kool Aid. Yeah, and the inside tasted like Mexican candy. That Actually, was like the yes, like people do thump- weird things with pickles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do a lot of and. When I bring this up to people, people are like, what are you talking? Are you crazy? What are you smoking? I'm like, nothing. It tasted like can- how How are you going to make something that's like a cucumber, that's like a vegetable, the cousin of a cucumber, and turn it sweet? That's, I'll, I'm not going to, I was, I was going to say, uh, I should try that, but where am I going to try that? Uh, get a pickle and just put it in a, a cup of Kool-Aid. How for like, long, though? I don't know. It was like at a carnival or something, or like oh, a little okay. kid's carnival, and it, no, no, no. It wasn't at a kid's carnival. It was a parking lot carnival in a church. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, that's how rare that, that, that shit is. Man. And then, the last thing about UFC, the only other thing... We went on, like, a big uh, tangent, tangent here. right there. But that's cool, man. It gives me good, good clips to clip out. But uh, the last thing is this Sunday, actually. Or, first, uh, speaking of boxing... What what are your thoughts on the Manny Pacquiao fight? I didn't I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it. I didn't. I saw how he got. It. I I didn't see many of the clips. Did he go the distance? I I don't I don't know. I don't know. I did mean, we even make any predictions for it? Yeah, we did, right? I think we just made the prediction that Pacquiao will come back and he will just probably win. Be the same or not be the same, but like probably win. But, but he lost. Yeah, he did. And then the fighter actually took. Uh, took it on shorter notice as well so i don't know let's see let's see i'm googling this right now pacquiao and ugas right mm-hmm. mm. i saw so, his forehead was very mm. messed up yeah build is legend versus olympian or the show must go on the welter rate professional match okay okay uh oh he's current uh wba champion as well so Let's see. Time for you guys to start a rise, Matt. Uh, hmm. Let's see. He's considering. I I just the CBS Sports right here. Uh, Manny Pacquiao considering January rematch with the welterweight champ. What? What? I don't know. Who? By the uh, he. I don't know. I like I said. I didn't really pay attention to it. Oh, he loses decision to... Oh, you, it was Jordanus. by decision. Okay, so he did go the distance. Yeah, he did go the distance. My respect. My like, respect to Manny Pacquiao for yeah. being able to someone go in this the, Someone in their peak? Yeah. And he, went, he was able to go the distance? He was able to go to the distance with a current champion. And like he, he's like 42 or 43, something like that? Yeah. My and, respect, bro. Yeah. And even if he didn't win, jeez, man, he's doing a lot more other things, and he's still putting in time to he's train. He's a politician in the Philippines. Yeah. Are he's still a politician? I don't know, but like he's a good, he's a good figurehead. Mm-hmm. I mean, people get behind him. People like him. Uh, he, <laughs> man, just all around good guy. Legendary around, career, respectable guy. Respectable guy. A good and, work ethic. And still able to do his passion and want to fight still Mm -hmm. that's crazy so coming off of a loss by decision no less do you think he'll be able to go anymore or not i think he should just just leave it just leave it yeah respectable career if he wants to do an exhibition down the line with logan just kidding guys no 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 exhibition with logan paul anymore (laughs) no 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 but if he wants to do like an exhibition with like a fighter around his age, maybe a Floyd Mayweather Pacquiao part two. Ooh. Nah, I doubt Floyd Mayweather wants to do that. That would be a money fight, though. That would be a money fight, and and they're around the same age. They're around the same. They're around the same. I don't. I don't. You know, I'm just gonna say they're around the same. <laughs> but both of them coming back, they're both big names. That would be a good yeah. fight. And but Floyd said he doesn't want to do any more exhibitions. Yeah, he sadly. doesn't want to do exhibitions, and I heard somewhere there. That Pacquiao was probably going to let it go, but now reading that, him saying he may want to come back, I don't know. Maybe no more professional fights, but like exhibitions would be cool. An exhibition would be cool. We all need an exhibition here or there. Yeah. And then speaking of exhibition, we still got Sunday. I'm not going to watch it, but Tyron Woodley, former UFC welterweight champ. Is it versus Jake Paul? Versus Jake Paul, yes, in a boxing fight. 
<laughs> so, what's my record in predictions? Like, I'm like 50-50 so far? You're 50-50? I- <laughs> a coin flip? Okay, so... I hope... You know what? You know what I hope happens. Uh-huh, I hope Tyrone Woodley wins. I, I hope, hope Tyrone yeah. Woodley wins too. I hope he's the chosen one. I hope you were please, chosen. Please do not lose against Jake Paul. Please, please do not lose fucker. against the Disney Channel flow guy. Yeah, it's every day, bro. Guy. Oh my god, oh. the same guy that like made their neighbors' lives hell. Yeah, and did all this other crap that we've already said, and that's fought and thinks he's a fighter yeah. tyron woodley is not is still a fighter though like I, the last fight i saw him fight was when i think it was either gilbert burns or Kobe covington he lost both those fights he's more of a striker so mm. he's more of a that ben Askren way better of a striker than oh ben Askren. yeah anyone it's a better striker than ben Askren. yes better striker and here's the thing as far because i heard tyron woodley was a good fighter and I, you can watch his highlights. He's one of the, probably one of the greatest. Mm-hmm. But like in the time I've been watching him, which is like two to three years ago, because the first UFC fight or the UFC card I saw, he was welterweight champ, but he got beat by Kamar Usman, who started his reign as a welterweight okay. welterweight champ. So I saw him lose the title. It was at the end of his champion era, and then he comes back and fights Gilbert Burns, and then Gilbert Burns beats him, goes to fight Usman, doesn't win, and then uh, Kobe Covington, who fought Usman lost kobe Cummington has his warm-up fight against the former champ and mm-hmm. also beats him as well and kobe Co- they're, they're they're already gonna go again kobe Covington versus usman 2 somewhere in november december which i'm very excited for i am very very excited for but i really don't know if he can win <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. How old is he? Like 38, 39? I, I, I will Google this right now. But well, We've never done this much Googling yeah, in a podcast. I, I, need, I need me a, a, a Jamie. Uh, uh, do, you, do you get that or not? Is he, is, does he do the, does he search it up while people do podcasts? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, Jam, uh, the young Jamie from uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Producer. No like, wonder that name sounded familiar. He's like, he's like, Jamie looked, Jamie looked the same. He's like 38, 39, right? Uh, he's 39. He's 39. Okay, okay. So Tyron Woodley's 39. Yeah, he could, he's not as old. It's like a, a Buckley that's 39 could still fight. Yeah. It's not like UFC where it's like Logan Paul challenged him in the UFC. And he was already fighting. He was yeah. he's been fighting. And this like, just when happened... was his last fight like what, two years ago? Uh, no 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 way less than that. Way less maybe a year. Maybe a year. Uh or I can look at it right so now. So he's he's still in physical condition. He's still in a good physical condition. Like he doesn't have to do any more a lot of conditioning, it's just a thing of get some muscle memory with the boxing stuff. Exactly. And he's already a striker. So I, I I think Tyron Woodley could win. I hope Tyron Woodley wins. I hope Tyron Woodley wins. I am actually wrong about this. The last fight he had was March 27th of 2021. And it was... Are you serious? He lost by submission in the first round of 3 minutes of 56 seconds by Vicente Lu. Oh, I was thinking, oh, you were wrong. I guess I was right. But no, it was way sooner. Way sooner. Yeah, so... Ah, uh, and it, it that's another thing. It's boxing. There is no submissions. There is no grappling. It's just here. It's just, yeah, the hand, the hands, the dukes. He's a good striker, and he's... But, like, striking in UFC is, like, different from mm-hmm. boxing. It just... And he has a lot of muscle memory with the UFC. Yeah. But then, like, every UFC fighter hits pads. They do muscle memory when it comes to striking. So, maybe they change their game up a little bit. Maybe not too much. I don't know. I'm just hoping, like, I'm not even going to give a prediction. I just hope Tyron Woodley wins. I hope Tyron Woodley wins, guys. Please, Jake Paul. Please. I, I hope Jake Paul doesn't I take hope it. I hope Tyron Woodley doesn't just go because in would inflate it Because Jake Paul already has an inflated ego. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And Imagine if you won against Tyron Woodley. And I and I um, I saw this this morning. He started ripping into Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal, you know, the one who knocked out Ben Askren, got beat by Usman. And the thing about him getting beat by Usman was, for years, he was the one with the iron chin. He's only been dropped a couple times in his career. Uh, The only one, uh, the one highlight I see when it's pretty badass, the one time I saw Jorge get submitted, there was like a, he was like, the guy's legs were up here at his neck. He was down here, but choking him with his legs in like a certain triangle. And he was on him completely, like weighing on him. He was like lifting him on him and then he just fell over 
and he he was out. He fell asleep. Okay. So, so he didn't. Sub- so he, he didn't. He didn't tap. He got put to sleep, and that was the only submission loss. So and then wow. seeing Usman clock him like that. Oh my lord. Like, it proves everybody's human, but at the same time, you can't take anything away from Jorge to go through his whole career, and there's only a specific amount of losses. Like, come on now. And he's ripping... Jorge was with Jake. He was. So, what the hell now? I think it's because, and the way Jake explained it, I guess it's kind of makes sense, because, say what you will, I guess the guy is kind of smart to be able to get this much attention. Fucking dumbass. Anyway, <laughs> he, he did say, well... Uh, when in an interview, somebody asked Jorge Masvidal in an interview, who, who do you got for this one? And he's like, Tyron Woodley. Like, I think he's going to beat be this fucking ass or he's going to fucking knock the shit out of him. There, Jake is like, well, hoes will be hoes. He's calling him a hoe, one. Two, he's like, well, I think they got the same managers, so I think there's that's a reason or partly a reason why, you know, he uh, Jorge's going to side with Tyron Woodley. But also, hello, they're also been training for are also in the UFC. Hello, like. And isn't Tyron Woodley training with like some very good boxer? I, I don't know. I've heard rumors. I've heard, I've heard things, but meh. I don't really know. All I, I'll, I'm just looking for the result. I'm not even gonna pay for the pay per view. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna pay for it, but I'm gonna watch the highlight. I'm I'll, gonna see what I'll, Twitter posts. About I'm gonna it. watch the highlights, the Twitter posts that come out five minutes I, after. I can't wait for the memes. The and memes. you know about every single fight. Besides the fight, I look forward to the memes. All the memes itself, yes. <laughs> Did you expect there to be so many memes with Conor McGregor's leg? <laughs> you know what? I was expecting more. You were expecting more. Yeah, I didn't get a lot. The only the only highlight was, oh, your wife is in the DM. Yeah. But that's it. That's it. They're not, not. It was just the broken leg and the trash talking. Yeah, not the amount of memes that freaking, uh, what's his face, Nate Robinson got. Oh, yeah. oh no. Yeah, that, no, they went, they, went, they went over the... Over the over the rails at this one but what huh oh anyway but yeah they went over the rails with this nate robinson type shit so the memes i hope time really doesn't become a meme and that's stupid- i hope jake paul becomes more of a meme yeah and that stupid agreement where they said at a press conference or a presser or whatever they said oh whoever loses gets their other person's name tattooed on them but where? Tyron Woodley, don't get Jake Paul's name tattooed on you. <laughs> oh, Please. I hope he's confident enough. I in hope his abilities. I hope so as well. So you're hoping for Tyron Woodley? Oh yeah. All the way. Not even a question. Not even a question. I was actually re-listening to some of our clips. I mean, if it was Logan Paul, you'd probably be fifty-fifty. If, if look, if Logan Paul were to fight Tyron Woodley in a boxing match, I wouldn't mad care if any of them win. Respectable, whoever wins. Yeah. But this is Jake Paul. The, nah. The more hated Paul brother. The more hated one. That's... Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Also, the, just recently, the new Spider-Man trailer dropped. Did you watch it? No. You haven't watched it? I don't know much about Mo- Marvel movies. Oh. Like, I've watched a lot of the mainstream movies about Marvel. Did you watch any of the Spider-Mans or no? Yeah. I watched one, two, three... When it was... Oh, the original trilogy. The Tobey yeah. Maguire ones. Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Well, okay. This is gonna... Spoiler alert. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> a lot of people have seen it. And even commercials. Like, I saw, I was watching AEW last night. And a commercial came up saying... Uh, they, they were teasing it. Like, there were clips from that trailer. But then they said, oh, You can watch it all online. <laughs> okay. Like, why waste a commercial if you're just gonna tell me that? But okay. Uh... So, pretty much the new trilogy because this is this is actually the third movie in the MCU with Spider Man because we've had we've had uh, Spider Man Homecoming and then Spider Man uh, Far From Home. This one is called No uh, No Way Home. And oh, okay, I've this, heard of it. I and this it. is the this is aftermath of uh, let's see, this is aftermath of Far From Home. And at the end of Far From Home, spoiler alert, uh, he was fighting Mysterio in that in that movie. That was the main villain. And Mysterio... Ray Mysterio? No, not Ray. <laughs> <laughs> funny, funny, but not... That's another uh, character, which I was hyped about, and they actually portrayed him pretty good. Mysterio was more of a mysterious person. Like, he, oh, yeah. he uses a lot of tricks to... It comes with the name. M- ...mess with Spider-Man, right? And the one thing he... The cliffhanger that got left on was... 
oh, Mysterio made it seem like when he when Spider Man finally killed nor not killed, like finally beat uh, Mysterio. Mysterio made it seem like he was the hero because that was the thing. Like, oh, I'm from a different universe. I'm a I'm a hero. This this and this. And they actually said, oh, so the multiverse exists then because of this guy. But no, he was actually playing him the entire time, okay. and he. He, uh, the cliffhanger was that pretty much he made everybody think that like, oh I'm the hero Spider-Man isn't the hero because he's the one who killed me and caused all of this and Peter Parker gets revealed to the entire world actually um, J. Jonah Jameson uh, man, uh, J.K. Simmons makes a cameo from the original trilogy he made a cameo at the very end of this as J. Jonah Jameson he's like Spider-Man is a menace on the dailybugle.net. Oh, yeah. now.net. Yeah, so Online like, now. Or um, even they, I guess they're getting with the times now. They're realizing, oh, a newspaper isn't, you know, going to fit as well in the modern times. And they even did that in the Spider-Man game where they had J. Jonah Jameson have his own podcast in the Spider-Man game for a PS4. Mm-hmm. But the one about this one is they're, uh, Peter wants to reverse what's happened because everybody knows who he is now right and he the trailer opens up with him and mary jane who's you know uh what, what's her phrase i always forget zendaya i always forget names and shit but like they're she's reading all they think spider-man has this or they think he has the ability to attract women like spiders do and yeah yeah yada 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 so after all this he he goes to Doctor Strange, who he knows because... You know, I, was, I was about to say, what is this Doctor Strange when he said it's going back to time? Yeah, well, multiverse, right? Uh, he goes to Doctor Strange, and he's like, could you make this to where, you know... Because he knows Doctor Strange from, you know, dealing with Infinity War and then uh, Endgame and everything, right? So... I, he, I, for, I forget it connects sometimes. Yeah. So they, he goes to him saying, hey, can you reverse it to where nobody knows where Peter Parker is Spider-Man? And he does this spell, yada, yada, yada. But then Peter's having second thoughts. He's like, wait, that means Ned, my best friend. He, he knows I'm Spider-Man. We're, we're fine with it. He, MJ, she's not going to know. Because there was a whole story arc where MJ knew, but she she never said it. And neither did he until mm-hmm. it got revealed. So there's a whole story arc there. He's like, everybody's going to forget. At May, she's going to forget. Everybody's going to forget. I'm Spider-Man. Oh, shit. And then everything goes awry. The multiverse kind of clicks into each other we see an orange bomb beep 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 boom who's that i don't know willem dafoe spider-man one he played the green goblin oh okay and then we see uh uh, he was uh harry harry osborne's yeah yeah and then uh we got uh, a claw with a metal thing come out oh yeah Uh, doc Doc, dr octopus and Uh. And he comes out, he's like, hello, Peter. So, it kind of caters that, to you that you've seen the Spider, the original Spider-Man trilogy with Tobey Maguire because they're bringing back villains, because they're introducing a riff in the multiverse type thing. And then, that opens up so many opportunities. People are already tripping about this. People were already speculating, hey, what if Tobey Maguire comes into the MCU? You know, well, yeah, I've heard of, you know, I've heard of that. Yeah, I think we talked about that once, where it was Tobey Maguire or the... the uh, Andrew Garfield, who was in The Amazing Spider-Man. They're saying they bring them back. Or if you're saying the multiverse is real, then that means Spider-Verse. Spider-Verse is their own multiverse that had all these other things from any every other universe come through for them. So that means they're real. I mean, Miles Morales is already real because of uh, Donald Glover. He played uh, uh, Aaron Davis, a.k.a. the Prowler in Spider-Man Homecoming. I it's feel, a lot coming at uh, you. I feel bad for the story writers that they have to write all this. Well... Not yes and no because a lot of things are taking elements from the comics, and they're oh okay. And okay. a good thing about having so much story to do to put on a movie, you're able to you have the freedom to put all these little things in there. And nerds like me are pointing out all of these little things, saying, "Oh, this is this thing, and this is that thing. If this means this, then this means this." What I'm getting at is, if there's a multiverse, we can have more than one Spider-Man in this movie. That's what I'm saying. Hopefully. Oh, oh. I've, heard, I've heard that they won. How many Spider-Mans has there been? There, has there only been two? There there was a Spider-Man back back way when, whoever. And then there was a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man who the had that trilogy, yeah. that trilogy. Then on Sony's end, they had, I think it was Sony, they had uh, Andrew Garfield who did Amazing Spider-Man 1, Amazing Spider-Man 2, which kind of did meh. 
Then they have uh, Tom Holland, who came yeah. out in Civil War, Homecoming, No Way Home, Far From Home. He ended up in Avengers Endgame and Infinity War. Uh, he's had all this, and that's pretty much it. You know, they have all these Spider-Mans. And then you got Miles Morales, who's in Spider-Verse. And since you're saying all this multiverse stuff, who says we can't see them? You know? So, that's there's only three Spider-Mans. To answer your question, there's only three Spider-Mans that we can physically see. But the, if you want to count Miles Morales, that's four then. And then if you want to count all the other multiverses, endless. Mm-hmm. Endless, to say the least. And uh, at the end of Spider Verse, uh, who knows? We may get to see the Mexican Spider Man, Miguel oh, O'Hara. Gosh. There is. You didn't. Uh, you is didn't there? Know? Yeah, yeah, Miguel O'Hara, Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Twenty ninety nine. Uh, yeah, yeah. They go, <laughs> they go that far. But yeah, that uh, I knew about him from like a game way back when. But yeah, oh. Miguel O'Hara, Miguel O'Hara, the Mexican Spider Man. I used to call him that when I was a kid. I'm such an asshole, but. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, hearing all this, are, does that make you excited for the new Spider-Man movie or no? Nah? It's a lot. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I feel like it makes it harder for like new people to come in. It's like, oh, you have to learn about this Spider-Man, and then this Spider-Man, and yeah. this Spider-Man. But if they use elements that's already been there, I don't think Yeah, they have but to like that can bring like, people that yeah. like watch those Spider Man. Yeah. I like I it makes me want to rewatch Spider Man too now that I know Doc Ock is gonna be back. Mm-hmm. You know? And they're they also say they're gonna bring back Electro, who was in the Amazing Spider Man two, played by mm-hmm. Jamie Foxx. And, you know, bringing back all these villains, I knew they were gonna do it. I knew they were gonna try to do something along the lines of Sinister Six versus Spider Man. So, I don't know. And then on the other side of that coin, you got Tom Hardy, who's already done Venom. And they're going to do Venom, Let There Be Carnage, with Woody Harrelson. (laughs) You're like, oh, God. This guy is a fucking nerd. (laughs) I'm very behind in the universe, guys. It's, It's... Hey, man, Disney Plus is there to help you. I don't even have Disney Plus. Oh, my God. Well, to be fair, I, I don't have it right now because of poor internet. Oh. Yeah. The, the only thing that I know about Disney Plus is they have Alexander Hamilton. Yeah, they got Hamilton. Hamilton's cool. I love him. I, I like love Hamilton. Hamilton. I love Hamilton. I've, uh, I've liked Hamilton since, uh, since I was, like, 14. Yeah. Did you? Were you one of the people who, like, listened to it all before the special or before it came out on Disney Plus, before the movie came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. It's since freshman year, I... Yeah, not about Hamilton. I didn't get onto it until I like right after I left high school. Like I knew it was there. I just never s- had the time to sit down and actually listen to it because you. That's what you had to do back then. When it came to Hamilton back then, you either had to be very, 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 very fucking lucky to be able to watch it <laughs> in person, or you had to actually sit down and listen to it completely and. Pretty much, like, understand the story. They were going to have a musical about it here. The the cast, not the original cast. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But, like, they have Hamilton everywhere, whether it's Australia, here even. They were going to do it here. Um, all over the world, man. And it's it's amazing. But then COVID. Then COVID fucked that up. Yeah. I think it was going to be in Bass Hall that they were going to do. Yeah, Hamilton. that's exactly where they were going to go. And, man, mm. I, I remember before the pandemic hit, I looked up the ticket prices. Was it? I saw one that was like a hundred and forty. Yeah, hundred and sixty. Uh, balcony is like a grand. <laughs> and I thought I was gonna go, guys. I Not thought I was gonna go. go. No. <laughs> and then the only way I was able to actually watch it was uh, and and uh, the full musical was in made in animatic. Like mm-hmm. artists got together, you know, made mm-hmm. each scene and whatever. And I, that was that was one way for me to actually sit down and watch it. Or whatever, man. I loved Hamilton. Hamilton. Was, I love Hamilton uh, too. It's the shit. It it's got me into a few more musicals. That yeah, I enjoy now. like uh, in the Heights. Mm-hmm. Have you have you heard that one? Seen no. that one yet? And that's another one by Lin Manuel Miranda. Lin Manuel. I love Lin Manuel. Yeah, Miranda. hell yeah. He's so creative. Very creative, and like anything. It's just like <laughs> the thing about Lin Manuel Miranda is I like the his cadence when he talks or when he raps like there's like a certain cadence it's behind so his unique. voice like da 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 like the the streets get colder and i show you that like 
nice. Like, goddamn, him. He has a flow that's very, very unique to him, and mm-hmm. it's amazing. And he also has a voice that's very, very. Yeah, I was about to say what the voice that goes with his voice. Yeah, right. And it's just amazing. And then a lot of people were like some people from the cast of Hamilton were actually in the In the Heights movie, which I thought was very cool as well. So I was like, man, he's just, he's got all this success and everything, and he's just sharing it, right? Yeah. And that's a cool thing. Giving a lot of people the spotlight. Yes, yes, and it's all about sharing it. It's all about sharing it. Last thing about Lin-Manuel Miranda was I actually saw him. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't, like, see him in person. I oh, I was about to say, it must be nice. It must be you nice know. to meet Lin-Manuel. No. I saw him in the most unlikely place I never thought I'd see. And weirdly enough, we talked about it way, way earlier, was Sopranos. He actually made a cameo in Sopranos. Oh, okay. I thought you meant, like, in real life. Nah, 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 nah. And when I saw him, I, I, I freaked the fuck out because that, he had, like, short hair, you know, the like, signature, like, beard he's got. Like, he and, used to have, like, almost a decade ago. Yeah, almost a decade, which it was, like, 2006. And he only had, like, two or three lines, like, he's like, uh, I don't know. Bro, I forgot it's 2021, bro. I think yeah. it's like 2019 or something like that, bro. Yeah, because we we missed the year. That's why. Yeah. Right? But I saw him there, and I snapped it to one of my friends. She's like, oh, my God, what the hell? And the thing about that one was a lot of people did cameo in that show, whether it was Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga actually cameoed in that show okay. way, way before she was Lady Gaga. Even Michael B. Jordan. When he when was she a- was Miley Cyrus or what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't think so. Even Michael B. Jordan when he was a kid. Michael B. Jordan. You yeah. know who Michael B. Jordan is? Yeah, I like the basketball? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. Michael, <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. It's like, it's like, why is Michael Jordan here? <laughs> no, Michael B. Jordan is an actor. I was so confused. He's like, why is Michael Jordan here? Right why is now? why is he in the show? What, what is he doing? What is he doing? <laughs> Bouncing the basketball? What's he doing? I t- Michael Jordan said, I took that very personally. I took it very personally when they decided to remake my Cut movie. Cut that out. Cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Michael B. Jordan's an actor. He he was in Creed, Creed, Creed One, Creed Two. He's had multiple other roles, but he had a he had a role in The Sopranos when he was a kid. And I'm gonna make my apology video right now. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to Michael I, Jordan. No, no, no. The, have you seen that Logan Paul apology video? What, what do you apologize for? No, no, no. Like the one about oh, the forest thing. Oh, I made thing. a. Yeah, I was about to make that reference. Uh, I made a severe yeah. and continuous snipe. Laps, laps in my judgment, in my and judgment. I do not. I do not expect to be forgiven. I'm not gonna say the rest. He put, because... puts the Michael a uh, Michael Jordan meme crying. <laughs> 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 oh, that sucks. And one of the last things was is you talked about an event that you wish you could have gone to. You wish you could have gone to go see the Canelo Alvarez fight. Oh, yeah. One event I wish we went to was the Money in the Bank pay per view <gasps> here yeah, in the real. Dickies Arena, where John Cena came. Back. Yeah, yeah crazy enough man and here's the thing about that the build up to that one was it was the end of the pandemic well the pandemic's not over but it was the end of the pandemic era for professional wrestling Mm -hmm. because we've had either no crowds or uh, a bunch of screens a bunch of screens smaller crowds the money in the bank pay-per-view marked the end of it almost for good because they plan to go back out on the road and go all around again right Mm -hmm. so the fact that we had a full crowd in Texas. I like how Texas is the one that like starts everything. The, like the, the, like the, with baseball, they were the first. Um, the Rangers. You know the Rangers, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah. You got the jersey on. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah. Represent, bro. Represent. The only the only jersey I had, well, I have a jersey that's like. Mm, Actually, you have yeah. a hat here. Yeah, yeah. I got a blue jersey that's somewhere in there, but I, I had a Josh Hamilton jersey. Oh, yeah. I back love then. Josh ba- Hamilton. Back then with Josh Hamilton. Well, He's a bit controversial now. He's that. controversial now. But yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I, I'm not gonna say I love Josh Hamilton, but when yeah, but when he was playing back when he was just when it was just baseball, cool, mm-hmm. cool. But dang, like nobody saw that. Out, nobody saw John Cena coming out of nowhere. Yeah. Nobody saw that. And at the same time, AEW was in Austin. They were in Austin. Not 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 Dickies Arena. Not sold out crowd, but. They were in Austin, and I think that marked the end of the pandemic era, right? Then, more recently, uh, SummerSlam just hit, right? And they they had returns. They had a return of Becky Lynch, who was, you know, she took off because she was actually having a baby with another wrestler, Seth Rollins. Uh, then, 
we have Brock Lesnar coming back at SummerSlam. He looks so old now. He, with the ponytail and the beard. He yeah. looks like he's about, I don't know, he looks like a caveman. He, he looks so out of it He now. looks like an armed caveman. He doesn't look as intimidating anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Brock Lesnar. I know you could beat my ass still. <laughs> He'll kill all of us, man. He just wants to be left alone. <laughs> And but I think no. coming for his man bun isn't doing that. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm so, it, it, it's, an, it's an amazing man bun. <laughs> I, I can do a bad bun right now. Yeah, he puts it in a Liga right now. Puts just it in a Liga. Flops it everywhere. No, no, no. But like, I don't know. He just looks... I don't like how he looks anymore. You don't like how he looks? A lot of people are Cut the hair. Go back to the... <laughs> the, the buzz cut. Yeah. Right. And we haven't seen him since then. He's supposed to come back to SmackDown of, no pla- of all places. That's the place where he... Pretty much the height of where all of his championship runs and all of his moments oh, yeah. back before he returned to WWE. And when he started WWE. Yeah, where he, when he started, like, before he returned in 2012, that's where a lot of his stuff was mm-hmm. on SmackDown. And then it transferred to Raw. Yeah, and he stayed on Raw, well, for years. Mm-hmm. And now he's back on SmackDown. That's crazy. You're, I like the vibe SmackDown has. Yeah, the vibe is just so much better. Like, oh, with the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always preferred SmackDown a little bit. But then when they had Raw as the flagship show, I was like, okay. Or no, Raw, Raw feels more, well, that's why they call it Raw. It feels like more live, more live. More, yeah. But now I'm, I'm still leaning towards SmackDown. Regardless, like I like the vibe of it more, and then at the same time, I've been to a Raw show. I've been to a Raw show as well. Which one did you go to? Oh, it was like five years ago. Dang. It was the one, Bill Dallas was in it. Dallas, yeah, yeah, I went to a Dallas one too, and it, I think I've told no, this no, before. No, the wrestler Bo, Bo Dallas was there. Oh, Bo Dallas, oh yeah. yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah, I don't like what they did with Bo Dallas in WWE. Whatever happened to Bo Dallas? I don't even know. I don't even know if he's still employed by that company. I don't even know. I doubt it. And then his brother's Bray Wyatt, and he's mm-hmm. not even employed by WWE anymore. So, oh yeah. Uh, oh, man, I hated what they did with Bo Dallas. Like they made him very, very meh. To compare to what he was back in when he was in NXT. And I remember the first time I saw Bo Dallas, like on TV or anything, was Royal Rumble 2013. They were like, oh, we had a fan fest. We had, like, you know, you know how WWE comes through with all the merch and all these other things. Mm-hmm. They were like, oh, we had, like, a five man tournament to see whoever gets a spot on Royal Rumble. And then he came in and he eliminated Wade Barrett and, you know, he's pushed to, like, oh, he's a young prospect, this, this, and this. And then when he finally got to the main roster, it was shitty. <laughs> He was, I don't know, his character was like, eh. Eh, right. And then, at the very same time, SummerSlam is happening. Or, like, to compete with what happened the previous day. AEW Rampage, the second episode, in the United Center in Chicago. Someone made their return after seven long years. CM Punk. Punk. Wow. How did you feel when you saw these highlights? Because I know you don't... The crowd was all around him, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I feel like he's finally getting the recognition he deserved. For... I think the recognition's been there. It's just oh, it's been there, but, like, he finally, like... Gets he gets embraced. Him. Like, he's, like... There's the fans cheering him yeah. on. It's, the arena was very loud. Yes. It was, like... If I were there, I would have goosebumps, bro. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't imagine what everybody either... And I feel like... Working okay. or a fan... You goosebumps people all are more energetic since like oh we're finally in arenas again yeah and like they're enjoying it more and they blew up for their for, for chicago zone cm punk it was crazy so how do you feel that there is a reemergence now like being a wrestling fan you're seeing all these things or being a casual fan you're seeing a ratings war almost happen again because even cody Rhodes said it in like a promo i think it was like one of the last dynamites at a daily's place before they started going on the road again, they said, "You know, we're not the alternative; we're competition." How do you feel that there's a re- there's a bit of a competition now? There is no alternative. There's just this one, this one. Don't sue me, AEW. <laughs> but like, I don't know. They they feel alternative. They feel alternative to you. It's because like they have a lot of old stars. Fair enough. It's like. It's a remix of the WWE. It kind of is, and that's what people keep shitting on them for. Is because a well, lot it's, of... not, it's not bad. It's not a bad thing. No, it's like not there's a... so many cool superstars. They're doing things where like people wish happened in WWE, but like now they're doing it in AEW. AEW. Exactly, like uh, Paul White, Big Show. 
Mm-hmm. Like his whole shtick is no more BS. You know, he's yeah. none of that. He's who he is. He's Paul White, and he's, he's finna be the giant. He's he's about to make his debut match at All Out, which is their next pay per view. Where Bro. CM Punk is gonna. Is he still in good shape? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, for for being his size, that's the crazy thing about him. He's had multiple surgeries. When he had he, hip surgery. Didn't yeah, he? hip surgery, and it went wrong, and then they yeah, do it again, and then because he's had to deal with you know what. Gigantism. Gigantism, yeah. And but the fact that you see him still being able to move, still being able to, you know, be on T V in a in a capacity and now he wants to return to in ring action, that's pretty mm-hmm. crazy. And even before like like you follow him on social media, this guy he's got a six pack but as big as he is. Yeah. Even though he's a giant And like, it's very difficult to do that. In that yeah. Sense. So and like you said, there is a lot of things people are doing in AEW now, but I think it's more fluid in AEW. Hence why I like it so much. Like you got, it imp- feels more raw too. Yeah, it, there's Impact Wrestling, who you know they thought there was going to be the alternative to WWE back then. Christian Cage, who's who was in all three promotions, he they're do- he's back and forth, back and forth. He's a champion of Impact, but he's on AEW. He's going to go for the AEW title. This one right here, it looks like it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> is it showing your screen? Uh, a little oh, yeah, bit, it but my, my, my coffee cup is uh, breaking it. I mean, I like this belt. I like Hence why I got it. It's a little Where aesthetically... Where you get it from? I got it from Walmart. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh, because I'd rather pay for a $20 one because the replica, they, they made so many like fake replicas online, but the official replica... Is seven hundred dollars, bro? Replicas are still very expensive. Yeah, I because mean, I, I just bought two jer- baseball jerseys. Right, like this is in a repli- this is like it's it's an official jersey, just like not very good quality. You get it at Walmart. Right, but I bought a replica jersey. One was like one eighty dollar, one hundred eighty dollars, and the other one was like one hundred thirty dollars. God damn! And the official jersey is still three times the price. Like, uh, you know, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's It'll fine. do. It'll, It'll do, do for now. It'll do. The only other belt I want to get is the TNT title, but uh, they change that every now and then. Yeah. So, eh, I don't know. And it'll be probably be a while before they make it in toy form or somebody makes a good replica or they sell an official replica. Mm-hmm. It will be a long while. So you feel AEW is the is still the alternative so but far. But, like, I feel like it's cooler. Like, yeah. If, if you're nostalgic over... Mm-hmm the past and WWE go to AEW but like I don't know they have such a unique twist to yeah. it. it's not it's like I don't know it's it's a different taste like if you want to watch AEW go watch AEW yeah that's kind of that's kind of and, like, and they thing. could do things where like WWE WWE never did yeah like who, who where have you heard where someone is a belt collector like you've heard that in like oh someone's gonna take all the belts in one promotion cool 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 but m- the world champ the highest champ the, every company's world title is going to one guy, and he's flip flopping from AAA to Impact to AEW. Like, where have you heard that before? Nowhere. So, like, I don't know. I don't know boxing. Boxing, <laughs> probably. yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Boxing, <laughs> but like, I don't know. I feel like it is such a good time to be an AEW or WWE. Fan. It feels like it's a good time to be any fan right it, now. Yeah, be, and because they want to come out of the gates because if there is competition, they're going to try to match it. But at the same time, they're still coming out of the gates because it's the end of the pandemic era. Mm-hmm. There's people coming in and they want to fill up huge their, opportunities. Huge right now. opportunity. Huge. Mm-hmm. Hence why they want to bring back Brock Lesnar. Hence why they want to bring in CM Punk and make. <laughs> the ratings spike through the roof. And it feels like AEW is like a lot more chill with yeah. its employees. Like, you know how WWE is like so strict. Like, yes. you're under contract for this and this and this. Mm-hmm. And like, you cannot move away from us. Or yeah. Like, I don't know. That's where, because there are people still going on independent shows. There are people going in other uh, promotions. Like, uh, the, one of the main draws was Kenny Omega, who's AAA champ right now. And, who you know, Bell Collector is AEW world champ. He fought in AAA against Andrade El Idolo, who's currently in AEW trying to have his first match. But he was already a mainstay there, so they got their main event match there. And Ric Flair was with Andrade. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, because he's he's uh, Andrade's dating Ric Flair's daughter. <laughs> so, okay. isn't that crazy that, like, Rick, you see Ric Flair, one of the greatest of all time, who was in multiple promotions, multiple this. He's on a Lucha show, and he's supporting his probably future son-in-law. Ain't that mm-hmm. some shit? 
cool. Like, it's, it's very cool when everything gets to mix up and flow together. Because that's what I feel AEW is. I mean... You got a you got the New Japan Pro Wrestling United States title being defended on AEW TV. You got the Impact title, who's like on another network or whatever. They're on they're on TV as well. You got stars from there as well. Or you're make, you're giving attention here. It's all it all goes back to Lin Manuel kind of sharing the spotlight. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So dang, it's a good approach. It's an amazing approach. Yeah. And like you haven't really watched it, have you? You know, you just... I've watched it on my feed. Your feed, yeah, that's fair. But, yeah. like, do you think it's a good time to be a fan? Do you think it's good to have a competition? What do you think? I'm not loyal to the WWE. I'm, uh, I'm not under contract. I'm not a, you're not under contract. It's so okay. Like, I don't know. More product, more opportunity for cool things to happen. Yes. More competition. Maybe it makes the WWE, like, think about it more on what they should do. Yeah, for sure. You know what? I like competition. I like competition as well. Mm-hmm. AEW is AW, Great, amazing. AEW is up there. And I'm not... It's a good time to be a fan of wrestling. It's a good time. And, and never what I thought. If you told me 10 years ago when I first started watching WWE again, you know, got into it. If you told me I'd be watching CM Punk over John Cena. John Cena who, for years, will always get the crowd. They will, he will always do his job. He will always do whatever. I'm more, I, I'd, I'd rather much rather much watch CM Punk in his hometown of Chicago embracing all of that. Wait, was it in Chicago? Yeah. That was his home? Oh my god. Yeah, that makes that, it way cooler. That, that's, <laughs> why, that's why everybody was like, CM Punk, CM, because they knew it was in Chicago. And, man, it's, it's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's crazy to say the least. And what you said is true. I agree with the competition. I agree that Good. WWE doesn't have as much of a monopoly anymore. No, that's true. They that was their whole thing back in the days where it used to be the WWWF, where they were just they, they used to have competition, but they just bought them out. Yeah, they would buy out every other territory. Mm-hmm. They bought them out, and then the big one they had was you know the another wrestling company that was on the TNT network, WCW, and then they did their thing, mm-hmm. and then they bought them out, mm-hmm. and then you have TNA, who's always. If you look at the history of TNA, Impact Wrestling, they've always been on the ropes financially. Mm-hmm. So, people would have thought maybe at this time. They yeah, been... I, I, I used to, I knew about T, what, how's it? What's TNA it or TNA, Impact. And like, I don't know, I felt like Walmart, WWE. Ah, that's, that's funny. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, but they're still going. Yeah. They're still going. And the fact that, a, it's like. AEW feels cooler. It feels like that. And what you said, like, monopolizing, it kind of feels like every other place kind of banded together, mm-hmm. and now it's WWE versus the everyone world. Everyone else. Right? Yeah, like, everyone knows WWE. Everybody does. Man, well, that's all of it. We got the CM Punk return. We got... Talked about the Spider-Man trailer, and you're like, what the fuck is going on here? Guys, let's talk about something controversial. Controversial. Okay. No, no, no. We, th- we did. We talked about someone being pregnant and fighting in a cage. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that was controversial. And then we talked about Poirier and McGregor 3. What's going to happen there? Yada, yada, yada. We talked about the COVID spike. We talked about... uh, Hmm, Greg. Mr. Greg there. You mean A? A, Greg. Greg A. I'm, I don't care. I don't want to say his full name. Disgraceful! <laughs> we talked about Mexico and Guadalajara. We talked about why there was a 44B. I think that sums it up, man. I appreciate you coming on, dude. What I, time is it? It is 107. It's been two hours, it, bro. It, we have been going for two hours, two minutes, 30 seconds. That felt so short compared to the other two times I've been oh, here. Oh, for real? And I think it's probably longer. I think it's probably longer. Yeah. Let's let's wrap this up. We are brought to you by absolutely nobody. Still, I don't know. I I don't I don't know what happened Power when off. it comes to uh, my um, my barber's Instagram. So, uh, with this black screen here, Bluetooth. I will say anybody who wants a free plug, whether it's your page, you know, a small business you want to include or a small business who wants to collaborate, you know, I'm not asking for money. I'm just, I, you know, I'd rather much promote and share it because why not? And then having somebody, you know, with me, you know, in a sense, Mm -hmm. makes sense, you know, to promote and advertise and I get the same thing back. Mm -hmm. Our guest, I don't know my user to below to follow them there, 
podcast instagram at life after hs podcast oh lowercase podcast rating is rated restricted it wasn't that much not that bad 44b we haven't forgotten we have not forgotten this podcast and i will not i will try to get back onto this because i've been gone for a while and haven't got into this and i need to fucking get back into it i need to get more people up in here i need to get my internet in check so we don't have to record this because tomorrow tomorrow's friday and i usually upload fridays tomorrow's th- friday this will be this is a live thing this is not live in the flesh this is a live premiere because youtube can do that where you can yeah. where we can watch it live so we'll be able to watch it live and not even be here so 44b we haven't forgotten ladies and gentlemen see you all later help youtube by answering one question how much do you trust google search completely moderately slightly none of the above None of you. None of the above. <laughs>